inside their own base, not even needing a tower, not even needing a creep wave, and TG, Navi will break the three back first and take for the first time ever their title. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Arrow Gym League. Um, this is James Tuggett Harding, and we're getting prettier and prettier each day. So we have three games today, and these are the games. First of all, we start with Sigma versus Rockskis. Rockskis, the first game of a double header they're going to play today. They're playing against Sigma, a team that has yet to win a game. But after that, they will be playing against Empire, the team that has yet to lose a game. To lose a game. So I'm guessing Rockskis might go 1 1 here, but we'll see what happens. Finally, we do have a North American game, Cloud9, though, we against Team Dog. However, these two teams are not really North American. They have like eight European players between themselves. Of course, uh, we can't start the show without, first of all, thanking our sponsors. We really can't. They don't let us. Um, but thank you, Asus ROG. Thank you, Rocket, for letting us be here today. And I'm not alone. I could never do this alone. So welcome, Handy Lumi. How's it going? I'm green. How are you? You're green. Why are you White green? And orange, like right here. Yeah, it's Not like so you're, here, you're a bit right? Irish, here. aren't you? A little bit. Yeah, I'm Irish too. No, Full Irish. That's that's not how Irish look like. Is, aren't you yeah. warm in that? Like honestly, I'm actually quite cold. Really? Yeah. Dude, those things are always warm to me. Yeah. I, don't know. I don't know. They they keep the heat a lot. Hmm. And of course, last but not least, Bruno. How's it going today? What's Craig and James? You're that's looking well. Yeah, you look well as well. Thank you. Yeah, I just sport. this is all I had clean today. Actually, mm. it's just a coincidence. Yeah, so just no, no, nothing planned at all. No, no, no. Can you just turn around and let no, us? No, I can't. Please. No, no I can't. I no. insist. No. <laughs> Come on. I cannot. Bruno. <laughs> no. <laughs> to be fair, you really would like not do it. I would totally do it. No, you wouldn't. No, you would. Come on. No. Okay. If it was him asking, maybe a stretch goal or something. <laughs> Um, but yeah, how, how are we today, guys? Everything well? You had a good weekend? Yeah, yeah it's all right. Lots yeah. of sawning, lots of doing nothing. Mm -hmm. It was good. Losing MMR, as per usual, so... What's, yeah. what's your MMR now? I don't know, like 1700. Hmm. Roll to 2k, guys. Really? You can work on yeah. that. I'm getting there. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. I mean, you have to have some goal. Yeah. So that's good. Um, of course, we saw nine games last week. They were pretty amazing. Um, we still remember some of them, and we're going to talk about the MVP in a bit, but... What do you guys think of them? Do you have any memories or is it everything forgotten in that last I'm like uh, a weekend? goldfish, man. It just leaves my brain like five minutes after it's over. I'm just like, poof, gone. So every week we have to, I have to, I don't know if you have to do this, but I have to write this synopsis of a game that I found interesting. Really? Yeah. And then I was like, what the, what the hell were nine games? I don't remember. So I just like take <laughs> the game that was Where does the most lasting of my, my memory and just write that. But I have to say though, for MVP today, yeah, I just want to say it's poetic justice. Hmm. That this is How the MVP. Is that I, it, it's just this. People will get it when it's, they watch it. Okay. He still sucks. But anyways, MVP of the week, guys. We're going to see a small video. It's small because we couldn't really find so many good things that he did, but it's good it's enough. Mostly invoker, isn't it? Eternal MB, MVP of last week, right here. 
that's weird. No. No. That's not the right one. MVP of the week. He's gonna take a ton of right click damage. Cold snap. He's got 2,500 gold. I must be dreaming. He's gonna be able to teleport out of here, looks like. Oh, Poison Sting does not do fatal damage, so he should be fine. I mean, and Envy gets Envy a Sunstrike. Sun sunstrike. You gotta keep in mind that was a 4v5 with Envy doing Roshan at the meanwhile. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, worth it. Worth yeah, it, yeah. Completely worth it. If you completely skip it because you don't have the he's, high levels of invoke, he's gonna find a courier on it easy. Oh no, he's gonna go in the mid lane to Sun Strike to Cold Snap. Oh my god. Oh, he's gonna use the lasso on Owie. Here comes the Brain Snap coming out from Zai. Almost kills him, but not quite yet. Envy Low as well. Gonna get the Aegis pop now, Arteezy. Running out with the Haze Groon. Universe will eventually get the kill on Owie. Going seven. Now on retreat. Arteezy still has a decent amount of mana. Another Sun Strike kill. Oh, I die. Oh, that's Trying to run away. Oh, Arteezy just going twice. all in for this kill. He will be able to haste away, though. PPD just going to get eaten alive oh. by the damage. Beautiful. And Sing, he's going to miss the raid. Denied, denied, denied. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Getting back into it a little bit. Oh, they're going to see Here comes Universe. Yeah, Aoi's in a position where they can go for him, but they want to go for Envy instead. Here comes the last. So Universe just getting destroyed by Necro Books and the, <laughs> the Force Spirit. So Envy is still alive. He gets a triple to go for more. They're just chasing what? him down with them. Oh my oh god. Oh man. Them babies. So there you have it. MVP of last week, Eternal MB. Some lucky person actually won the competition by choosing him as an MVP. So he won an Asus. Uh, no, it was not an Asus. That's the, uh, the keyboard, Rocket yeah. Glow. So, but this week, this week, you have the chance of winning this, an overlay. And you can make it say this. whatever you want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, uh, here we are. And this is, I think, it's an Asus Z87i Pro, which is a gaming motherboard. It wasn't painfully apparent that you were just reading it off the box. <laughs> no, no, it was totally it was fine. fine. Yeah, it was totally fine. It's like, look at this pretty thing. It has a, a, like a battery here and two slots for something. You probably failed. They're for the RAM, actually. Class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. that, and what? it has like little cylinders thingies. So I don't know. It, it looks pretty good. So if you want to get this, all you have to do is go to facebook.com slash ROG Nordic and vote for the MVP of the week. I really suggest that you don't do it now because you haven't seen any of the games of this week now now, but maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, if you see someone that really convinces you by then, you just go there, it says the MVP of the week was there. And if you're right by the end of the week, between everyone that's right, you will be randomly chosen. You will be randomly chosen and you will get this amazing thing. But yeah, that's it about the, um, the contest right now. So before going into today's games, uh, we want to remember a little bit more about last week. So maybe we can let, take a look at the standings and see who is doing really, really well and who is doing really, really bad. Um, and I know Wait, I we know who is doing really bad already, don't we? Who is doing really bad? Andy? Well, Sigma's not doing great. Mm -hmm. Makers, makers mm. could be doing a little bit better. Team Liquid. The thing that these teams have in common is none of them have won a game. Right. right. And well, that's, that's pretty much as bad as you can get. I just want to correct y'all real fast. Y'all? Because y'all <laughs> need some English lessons. It's who's doing badly and not who's doing bad. Who's the British, British guy here? Still present Who tense. is the British guy here? It's James. Look, you're not speaking proper English. He's from the motherland. L listen to me. Because obviously I knew English. I invented that. All right, back to you. Yeah. Who's doing badly? Just look at the, you can, the right, monitor okay. is right in front of you. I'm, okay, Sigma's doing badly. Team Dog are doing great. Right? <laughs> Shane, yes. question for you. Bruno, why? God! Why? Why do you answer? You're Bruno. You're oh, not Shane. Shane sorry, is sorry. not here. We practiced this before. Yeah, there you go. Both of you really, I really know. Failed. No. Oh my God. I was testing him and he failed. Okay. Bruno, so. with all your stats knowledge. Yes, James. These teams that you've seen there at the top six, is there any team that you think is not going to keep in the top six anymore for longer? Um, Fnatic don't seem to be. They seem to be a bit wobbly at the moment. Mm -hmm. But. Mm, apart from that, I don't. I think like Alliance and Navi and Empire, they're like crushing everybody. So, hopefully, I'm a big fanatic fan, so I really think that they will do okay. But anyways, um, those were the standings, and of course we're going to take a look at today's schedule as well. Let's l take a little bit of a reminder for that. And we start with Sigma uh, versus Rockskis. Guys, what do you think of this match? Rockskis is he win? Not. I I believe it'll be Rockskis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's my guess. Don't you think Sigma can wake up from their slumber and actually start beating people? No, no, no. no. I seen them beat Cloud9 there last weekend, I think. Did mm -hmm. they? Yeah, they, what they the got their Bane. They got their Bane. I reckon it's all around the Bane. In some tournament that didn't matter. So Whoa. it didn't count. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can't tell what shots are being fired because I actually don't know what tournament they played. I, there you go. 
All right. There we go. Fair enough. Anyways, yeah. talking about Sigma, I think we should meet the team. If people forgot about them, they have pretty memorable faces, most of them. Mm. So let's take a look at the team right now and see who is playing there and we'll see who's playing well. Of course, everyone remembers Fata, everyone's remember uh, Sokska, which has been playing a decent carry, but I think some of the other guys need to step it up a little bit, maybe get the rain, like Bruno was saying. Uh, Lumi, thoughts on this team? They're Especially all right. about this guy? <laughs> they, they, they are, are right. They, are. they ain't bad. Yeah, pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, Just pick Beastmaster against them? Actually, they do have a good Beastmaster. They should pick it. But uh, Fata needs to play big. I think that's generally what we agree on. Yeah, but they rely on him so much already. He's like he's like the only player who consistently does well on the team. Well, do better. What, what, you can't... It, Step it up more. It's just like you got to strap the whole team to your back. Yeah. No, actually, I in honesty, I, yeah. I, think, I think Sigma is a, a dark horse. Okay. I actually think they could make it to the top six. Um, haven't found this right yet. Very much so like Team Liquid. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. And the second team, Rock's Kiss. Rock's Kiss, they've been doing a little bit better, but I think they still have to prove themselves that they have are a really top six contender. They have these amazing players with amazing pictures. I particularly like Yol's picture. So we're going to talk a little bit about him. Bruno, what do you know about Yol? Um, he has a 64% win rate on Bane. That's great. Yeah, and he's also... It looks like he's trying to drink from his microphone. <laughs> <sighs> Is that a microphone, though? Uh, well, what, what else could it be, Bruno? I leave it or to your James. imagination, Bruno. <laughs> Are you schizophrenic? <laughs> Do you talk to yourself? Apparently. Uh-huh. Careful when you hear voices. Anyways, um, so yeah, those are the two teams right now. And if this is correct, we're going to make a little bit of a prediction and we'll see if we can go into the draft or the game hasn't started yet. I think it's one minute before the game starts. So just let's make a little bit again of a prediction. We already said, I think, Rockskis is probably going to take this, but I'll let you change your mind now. Guys, Rockskis or Sigma? You go I'm looking at, oh, I'm going first, Sigma. Yeah. I changed my mind. Rock's kiss. James talked me into it. Yeah, okay. Rock's kiss. Okay. Yeah. Sigma? Yeah, Sigma. I'm going to go with Sigma as well. Good. Then I will have to go to Rock's kiss so that no one knows what's going to happen. Anyways, so we'll stretch it a little bit more because the teams are not yet in Sigma's the Sigma's not even here. Like Sigma not even is a single, not even here. Okay. Not a single good. person. So here's the thing, right? Um, let's talk a little bit about the compendium and stuff. Uh, I'm going to break character for a little bit because Bruno was telling me a lot of things that were happening. Apparently... Valve kind of screwed up again, and the compendium is not really working right now for um, the predictions. It was all my fault, though. Really. Was it? You? Yeah, yeah, Bruno, come on. I'm sorry. Really? I worked all night. You have to work harder. I'm sorry. I would just say, like, yeah. step it up more. Oh, yeah, step it up yeah. more. Okay. Yeah, really. No, but the thing is that's happening right now is that if you go to the compendium and you make your predictions for this week, you close the client, and then you open up, and it forgets your prediction. Uh, I need something with the servers because it's not saving right there, so I have no idea what it is. Hopefully, we'll be able to fix it by today. But of course, for the games today, it's already locked. So potentially, the, the possibility for making predictions is kind of gone right now. But again, this is a beta product. We're kind of doing new stuff with the compendium every day. As Lumi was saying before, he has now a new column, which I'm not sure you even saw. I don't even know where it is. Great, in the compendium. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so if you go to the compendium right now, there's a table of content, <laughs> one of the other things that was added this week, fortunately. And you go to Lumi's watch list. Is that Which is, that is very called? appropriate, look, looking like a, little picture of you? a member of the triad today. Yes. So you said you, you, or Bruno said he had a Google image for a picture of me. Do I? Yeah. Yeah, and what I picked was it? I, I'm curious now. No, yeah, you can go, you can go and check. But okay. yeah, so Luminous will be picking one game from each week and telling you a little bit about it. First the week, it was the Meepo game with Fnatic. Do you remember that game, guys? I do. I, do. I, Meepo. No, I might have to read up on the column later. That's good, that's you good. Should. Some insightful knowledge I threw in there. Bruno, you, you shouldn't have to read on that. You're like really good with your memory. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm, I'm <laughs> gonna, I had a rough I'm, weekend. <laughs> I'm going to put you to the test, right? Okay. Okay, so fast. Fast. Lycan's win rate last month. 110%. That seems right. <laughs> um, how many times was Undying picked this year? Twelve. I have no way to check that. I was so. going to say, I really can't argue with that one. That right, was pretty yeah. good. Mm. This is pretty good. Doing I'm the Bruno job. Yeah. Uh, you, you completely agree. Thank you. But yeah, um, this Freaky Friday kind of accident, people are asking where Jane's body went. Uh, and I bin, think, well, right. here's the thing, right? Bodies, uh, the Jane's body had Shane in it. Did Shane, it? Shane, yes, because... Now I'm in Bruno's body, you're in Shane's body. 
Oh, so I'm dead. James' body has Shane in it, and it's St. Patrick, St. Patty today. Mm. So I think Shane just bolted out, went out drinking, and he's going to be passed out for the entire week. He's so responsible, that guy. Yeah, so if we can get it back by the weekend, uh, we will be able to revert the bodies and make everything work all right, and everyone will be back to their correct place. But for now, for this week, you'll have to endure with this. I don't complain. I really like this body. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, it's got a much better complexion than your original yeah. body. Are you guys thinking of maybe trading bodies yourself? We probably could. I like my hair. I don't know. I want to keep it. I think, honestly, if you tried not having hair, it's easy to underestimate laziness, man. Uh, that's true, yeah. though. You know what I really hate about this? is Every time I come here, the makeup lady sprays like... Oh, wow, I can actually see it. Can like, you see it? Yeah. Well, like when you touched your hair, it just went... Yeah, it just flakes, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Why don't I get that? Because well, you're, you you're can not Asian with product, so yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure she didn't have any reason to put no, it. Well, but it's my fringe, my amazing fringe that I don't have anymore. I wanted to replicate it, but not with this. This guy's getting bald. Doesn't work. Better getting than R. That's a good point. Yeah. yeah what happens if you grow your hair? What happens? What happens? Like Nothing good. <laughs> I'm just saying that. It's like it grows in pretty well, like around here, but like right here. Do you have the, the little? Top, it's not so great. Do, do you, you have, have the like little a soul patch at the front? The little circle? Well, I, I think it's going to get there eventually. It's not quite there yet. Apparently, I, I get, like, angry a lot, so that doesn't help either. Who would have thought mm. it? I, I'd you could potentially get, like, a, a front ponytail. Oh, you could make it work. Could. It would look a little wispy, though. Yeah. You know, like, when you have really old people and they have, like, the hairs coming out of their like, ears, and, and it's like, <laughs> wow, that just really looks weird? That's kind of the same kind of feeling I think it would have. Did you know that, actually, your ears and your nose never stop growing? Really? Like, no matter how old you are... The, no, I wish my ears would stop growing. No, they don't. But your ears grow? The, your ears... Like, have, it, like, do you ever see old people with very big ears and very big bulbous nose? Not bulba, bulbous. Bulbous, yeah, like... He got it. Yeah. Yes. He knows, he knows That's words. because your ears and the, 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 the tissue there never stops growing. Mm. Everything else. Fingernails. Like, imagine if some other places in the body work like that, but no, only What other places? Ears, uh, like your elbows. Elbows. I like pointy elbows. Mm. It's pretty good. It might get awkward though. Uh, yeah, like fingers. I, I always want to reach stuff that's... Or turn off the telly when you're sitting down on the couch. Right, for example. I feel like if your fingers were actually that long, it might cause more inconveniences yes. than no, benefits. No, you really would. Well, I don't know. Scissors just... hands, but with longer fingers. Yeah, the only thing that guy did that was productive was carve a snowman. I don't he, know. He made really good bushes. Hair. His bushes... Oh, yeah, oh, bushes. Wait, 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 carving. Yeah, yeah. He also made Winona Ryder, like 20-year-old Winona Ryder, fall in love with him. That's a fit in and of itself. Okay. Fair. And it's the fingers. Fair. It was all about the fingers. I see. Yeah. By the way, just an update. Yes. So people are like, God, why is this happening? Why aren't we in the game? Four members of Sigma are in the lobby right now. We're just waiting on one more. Who is missing? I don't know because nobody uses their actual tech. Okay. We can guess. Well, we can guess. So Miggle's here. Fata's here. I think Sox is here. I don't know who the other two are. Who Never are mind. So Sigma 10 is effing mad. Right. I don't know who the last guy is. That's it. Now you see our predicament. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. One of these names doesn't belong, Lumi. Or isn't actually here. In Process this of elimination. This shit is Dude, this is real. math. This is, I know. This is your fucking shit right here. Guys, guys. <laughs> Here's the thing. We talked a lot about the teams. We talked a lot about ourselves. We like ourselves a lot. We do. Especially you, James. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we also have some cool stuff. Like, we are, the thing that's behind us kind of changed a right bit. now. Look at that. How amazing is that? Does it do out in fancy? Robert Olin. Who's that guy? It's probably like a random fan. I, I heard know. he's a drunkard. Yeah, probably. A little yeah. bit. Says price will increase with 90,000. He doesn't, he can't even write proper English. Price will increase with go, go, go. $90,000 to $190,000. Go, 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 even 200K. I think we can do it. Yeah, I, I think we can do it as well. So if you iron your shirt. No. Actually, that should be a stretch goal. If we get over 200,000, James will iron his shirts before he comes on the show. I want my That'll chair nice. first, though. Yeah. I want the chair first. Yeah, I had 100k. Dude, you get a your shirt? toilet paper chair is back there somewhere. That <laughs> should be plenty. Sorry. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm Anyways, too much. if you want to see your great words in there, if you want to be immortalized in a Twitch stream, you can, of course, tr stream yourself, but you could also um, tweet at DH Dream League. You go there, you tweet there, you tweet whatever you want. And if it's kind of okay, we're going to put it there. If it's funny, we're going to put it there.
God knows what's going to happen. Actually, if we asked the out-of-body James Shane, as it were, what I'm, the I'm Twitter, really, really confused yeah, as to who's who now. Yeah, no. If we asked the, the, the James that's not here, mm -hmm. he would not know the Dream League Twitter. Right. So I don't know why you're saying it. Every time, every time we talk about Twitter, Milton told me. We we throw it to Bruno. So Bruno, what's the Twitter? Wait, am I? Yeah, I'm, I'm Bruno. Yeah. Yes, you're Bruno. Okay, okay. What's the Twitter? Uh, at the H Dream League, isn't it? At the H Dream League. That's yeah, I think that's, that's correct. That is good. good. Yeah, that's right. I wouldn't know. Except you told it. You guys are failing. Uh, production told me. Oh, okay. Production told me in the ear. You have to say. Yeah. yeah. That's why no, we have no earpieces. It's not that we're listening to music here. Well, uh, I am. What are you listening to? Argentinian salsa music. That's not even exactly. a thing. Actually, there's like a sombrero behind the desk. I can see. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, that's. <laughs> How would you know that's not a thing? You're English. You know. You told me about it. Oh. You rant about it every well, day. Last Valentine's how people day. Yes. The misconception yeah. of with South America. With a heart. Right. That was nice. It was really good. It was really good. Anyways, um, since we have to wait a little bit longer, I'm going to just make a, a arbitrary decision, and I, we should watch it some highlights. I don't know highlights of what. Maybe my highlights in the hair. But you don't have. Maybe any. some video highlights. Sigma versus EG. What happened last week? So I well, think I'm this is a game where where Sigma actually came out to play. Like they actually, I was like, yeah, let's let's play Dota. And then I think they dropped a the gem. 15 minutes in, and then this Dota was lost. Fear was running around, giving everyone a hard yeah, time. Yeah, bounce, bounce under safe lane, guys. This was the RTZ Tinker, right? Yes. And he ended up like one and four at the beginning and made a recovery because of safe lane farming Donnie Hunter, and then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. shit just went real bad. Yeah, that gem, gem drop. Look at the Tinker chasing him here. I think he blinks after him. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, I think initially in the draft, people were saying like, how are they ever going to win a game? They don't have a carry. RTZ, man, he's carrying. I don't... I still feel like they actually won that game without him. Like, that game was, was won without him. I mean, sure, he contributed to some fights, but it was more or less like 4v5. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, I, I can say that. Yeah. He, he oh. came in and did a lot of damage at the end, but the game was won by the supports and fair. I kind of yeah. like the Visage Birds TP with Tinker thing mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. Bounty Hunter finds It's yep. pretty, pretty scary. Like. Well, it's like an old strategy because people used to use Beastmaster Hawks. Wait, 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 wait. Do you know who invented that? Bulba. Of course. He invented everything. He invented Dota. He actually invented body swapping. Yeah, he invented you. Yeah, it's true. He invented us. He actually did invent me. He did invent Which is you. kind of fucked up. It but is it's weird. True. By the way, everyone's in the lobby. Great, that's great. We're so just waiting to see like if teams are ready. I don't know, man. Just in case, instead of going to uh, another highlight, first we're just going to talk a little bit about your fantasy. How are your guys doing in the fantasy? I have a buy this week. You have a buy this week. Well, you, you, well, you should be careful. You, you should be careful. Because Bruno yeah. lost to the bye week. I lost, lost to, to the bye week. How weird is that? I'm so bad at Fantasy League that I actually lose to the bye. How does that even happen? <laughs> Did you actually hack the game in order to lose? No, I Do just... Do you enjoy I'm... that match? <laughs> <laughs> the bye guy was just really strong. He came from behind and it was, it was terrifying. Hmm. So watch out, Andy. Yeah, I'm telling you, watch him. He's a slippery miss. Yeah. So I think, Bruno, you're playing Shane this week. Am I? I think you are. Yeah. Well, that Shango sucks. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty bad. He first picked Misery. Misery. Yeah. One of the lowest ranked players in the, the league. The lowest. Was he the lowest? The I lowest. Like, okay. like 2.3 okay. points or something. Okay. Fair. I'm playing against you, James, this Risky. week. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is no fantasy for me in this week's fantasy draft. Why? Because I, I forgot to put the Sama in my, in my team. How can wait? You said last week he wasn't even in your. Yeah, team, I though. don't know. Has he shown up yet? No, he's shown up. Okay. Not in my not in my thing. So you're gonna lose. Not in your thing. Not in my thing. <laughs> I, want, I want the thank God. I want the song in my thing <laughs> thank all the time. God. Whoa. But uh, no, it's he's so not, not my good. team. It's, can we please go to the game? <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Andy called it. People are waiting for it. This is enough talk. Let's fight. Let's just go into the game. It is Rock's Kiss versus Sigma coming right now. Brilliant. Amazing. Well, at least Bruno is still here. God, I love it when Bruno's on TriCast. Yeah. So much better than normal. That Shango is just a dead weight. He's like. the only person who really gets like the pop culture references that I want to bring to the table. Besides Ted, when Ted was here. You know? Right, because if you talk culture to me, I'm like, yo, bro. I went to the beach last week. It's pretty cultured. What? How is that cultured? How is going to the beach? How is it? What? I don't think you understand what that word means. <laughs> it was a joke. I don't know, man. Like, oh, yeah. Whose jacket is this? This is my on top of the toilet what? paper. What is it? 
covered in? I don't know, but it's Oh, it's sawdust from the studio. Yeah, it's apparently. It's okay. It's okay. Not, <laughs> <laughs> not great. Off to an amazing start. It's Rock's Kiss versus Sigma. This is probably, I would say, the closest game of the day, just based on the lineup that we have. Just in terms of the two teams, right? Like how they've been performing. Rock's Kiss is kind of on and off. Sigma's kind of all off, but they've shown up at least in terms of individual player skill. Maybe if they can not draft something that's. Wait, what? You're really saying Rock's Kiss is on and off? Yeah. No, they're not. They beat Alliance in some tournament that nobody cares about. 2 0. Okay, 2 1. I'm saying they haven't been that way in every single, you know, every single game, right? Like no one's 100% all the time. Except for that one time where Alliance won like 43 games in Except a row. Except for Empire right now. Hmm. I yeah. just want to say. I don't think I have a mic. Maybe I will have a mic. Oh, yeah. there we go. Now I just do. want to say that we were watching Empire for some reason in the pick and ban screen. What? It was Why instead did I of hear Rock's you case, over here? when we were in the pick and ban screen right now, instead of watching Rock's Kiss, we're watching Empire. Okay. Nice. So bear with us. We're going to show your pretty faces for a second. I can't actually read because there's like a preview monitor over there, That's but right. I can't read and it. And now we have the proper Rock's Kiss. So yeah, please continue. Awesome. awesome. Thanks, James. You're actually like far more helpful than you than normally usual, are. Yeah. Usually weird. you'll be playing Hearthstone right now. Mm. Or Diablo. Diablo sure. 3 is like I won game. both games. Just I won one. I beat them. Okay. Uh, I impressive. tried to start the game right now, it says you won, and it closes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds more appropriate. That sounds that sounds pretty good, actually. So we're checking out the bands right now. It's AA and Batrider banned out from Rock's Kiss. Ember Spirit and Dazzle banned by Sigma. I think the Ember Spirit is hero that people are prioritizing very highly, but to be honest, I haven't seen it have much success. It's kind of been meh. The only team who I've seen do fairly well with it consistently is Navi. Mm -hmm. I think Dendi plays it really well. But most of their teams, it we just seems to fall flat. Fnatic pick it last week? Yeah. And Honey played it? It didn't go great. Oh, it was well, horrible. there was a laning situation against Yeah, it was against Invoker. Yeah, yeah. The only team I've actually seen do well with it is uh, Cloud9 uh, in the Monster Invitation, though, where nobody knew how to play against it. Everybody just straight out banned it. Uh, I so don't have to play How do you play against it? What yeah, you I'll lane him. Like, yeah, always, he's not yeah. a very good laner, especially no, when you put him in. Yeah. So many heroes beat him. I, I think the only thing that actually works with Ember Spear is a safe lane with Protect the Farm, and once you do get the Protect the Farm, you can actually go to work. This is very distracting, by the way. What's it distracting? Is. I'm hearing myself twice. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm like totally fine. All right. Welcome to the other studio where we had that problem for like ever. Like you just heard yourself when we were when we had the studio in the house. Mm -hmm. We were doing that. Every single broadcast was like that. Why? I don't know. I, I I'm not a technical guy. I don't know how it works. I'm just saying that's what I, that's what happened. Magic, but most likely. Hopefully, um, I'm sure production are <laughs> Thank on you, the Bruno. They're gonna they're gonna get you. But Invoker Lycan for Rock's Kiss. So some pretty insane push potential. Sigma get their patented Bane Enchantress, which are probably two of their most picked heroes. Bruno, you probably know. About yes, me. they are. Um, I think it's. Uh, f uh, what is? They all. What is it? Their most picked hero is an actually enchantress. Uh, James is pointing to the screen now. Nothing's happening. Nothing's happening. So Something panic, about a panic. map. All right, it's over. A lot He's of people away in the audience look pissed. That's about the the give up and attitude I was looking for. He's already just leaving the studio. They got their bane though. I'm happy about that. So you think like bane enchantress is pretty important for them? Yeah, it's like they need their comfort zone. Sets up the early ganks and control it from there, I guess. Okay, but it, just looking at these two heroes, and you see a lichen. Do you want to lane against a lichen? Is that your goal? Do you want to make sure that he doesn't get free farm in the laning phase and then get a book three, and all of a sudden your towers just disappear? We've seen him go in the jungle, the lichen jungle with Cloud Nine. Do you, maybe yeah. they'll play it like that and have a, a different safe lane farmer. But that's a really greedy way of playing it, especially if you plan on doing it so early. Like a lot of the time when you pick a carry, I think you want to change the way that you lane him based on the, like the last two picks, most importantly. Because right now it's a bit ambiguous in terms of where they can go. But say for instance, Sigma decide they pick like two more really strong laners, and it becomes apparent to Rox because hey, they want to lane against their lichen. Mm -hmm. Then you decide to make decisions after the fact. But I think early, just thinking of the game plan ahead of time. It just helps you kind of decide what your weaknesses are in the draft. Yeah, I think uh, going into the jungle as a Lycan against Enchantress is also a death wish because yeah. you could be fighting that fur bog and suddenly a Dominic comes, a Stomp comes, and you're a little bit in trouble. And with the Venomancer draft, uh, or you could like to call it Venomancer, uh, as Andy Venomancer. pointed out, strong oh. laners are coming out. And I think this is going to be a carry style Venomancer that we've been seeing lately. We didn't, I think, Havos ran it, and then some other team ran it as well. It was a Fnatic. I, don't I know Trixie has played Venomancer before. Yes. But I don't know if it was last week that we saw that. Yeah, I, I know think so. I Navi think for sure did. Yes. I know Navi did. Do you think uh, Venomancer is a counter to Chen? 
Like if they were gonna pick a Chen or just a security so? enchantress. Because if you're, it pretty much like makes the creeps useless. Like you gale them and they're nearly useless. They just walk around at like one mile an hour. Yeah, but there's a multiple heroes who can do pretty much the same thing. Like yeah. you stun a creep, especially during the early game when Chen can only have one. Enchantress is a bit different because if you time your enchant right, you can have two creeps when you go in for a gank, but Chen is pretty much strictly one. So you could have like any form of stun or disable and it would pretty much accomplish the same thing. I get what you're saying though, because Gale lasts so long yeah. that there's almost zero chance of a successful gank after that. But it also has to do with being in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. It's just any support who is aware and sees that coming, I think it would be just as easy to avoid the gank. So going back to the Lycan pick, you guys were talking about it. Um, I think traditionally we always had an image of Lycan being a, somewhat of a subpar laner. But as of late, just maybe he himself still says as a eh, mad laner, but his how actually makes... Like last time I think it was a tri lane against him, it was like a profit tri lane that we, nobody understood. Yeah. Yeah, but, and the Lycan sorry. how just tore through that tri lane because tri lane decided, oh... They, they actually initiated on the Lycan and right. it's on 50% life. And then Lycan just howled and everybody just right clicked. So I think how not only do you win that lane that Lycan is in, you also help Invoker Nature's Prophet, should they be going mid Think about how much damage the babies are going to do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 20 doesn't seem like a lot until you're getting hit by three heroes. Well, that's 100 damage from Nature's Prophet alone like, yeah. on, on his babies. So I, I actually think Lycan is a, a powerful laner, deceptively so. Um, and and we do see teams like Empire and Rock's Kiss, you know, first pick him. In fact, it's like, it's so good. I think we might be entering back that one phase where we had Lycan perma banned, and oh, then he got nerfed, nerfed or yeah. ignored. No, he got nerfed to crop. And then, okay, well, this is the nerf version, right? Yeah, they no, nerfed they, the they HP, them. so he was basically not able to jungle anymore. They took right. away all their armor. And everyone well. played it super greedy back then. So yeah, that's he why jungled it. Yeah. yeah. And now, what what was their most recent buff for him? They, I think um, the, the HP region of the wolves came and back. Level three gets invis. So. Okay. All right. I don't think these are game breaking changes or anything. The invis at level three wolf is pretty, pretty legit. Because remember, we saw it when uh, I think it was Tinker against Invoker in mid. Yep. And the, and and the wolves, wolves came. The yeah. wolves came, and then all of a sudden, sure. Tinker not so happy. And then Arteezy was a sad boy. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much. And then he won the game. Well, that was very good. he didn't win. His team won the game. Okay. And yeah. that hurts because I actually have him on my fantasy draft. That's true. You know, it hurts me to say that, but it's it's kind of how it went down. So the one thing that's kind of worrying me for Sigma right now is they actually have no form of counter push at all. I mean, except Sardar Venomancer Stomp. Wards. The Venomancer Wards. Yeah. yeah, but it's Venomancer Wards. That's like stationary defense. I mean, they don't have any wave clearing. They don't have any way of pushing out the waves themselves. They can mm -hmm. only sit at a tower and say, okay, we can maybe defend this position. You know, that, that kind of worries me when you're playing against a team that has a Prophet and a Lycan already and maybe assume X Sword Invoker just because of the fact that they already have so much heavy push. And if you're going with a kind of summons style strategy, like Bruno was saying, and you have just Howl on everything. Yep. That can be very devastating. And we saw Cloud9 do something a little bit similar to that. Not quite the Lycan Invoker, but it was Envy going for the safe lane farming and then go into Medallion and just kill people with and right clicks. Yeah. So I think right now we're drafting uh, Fata's mid hero. What would you say best shores up this issue of lacking in counter push? I think they need an initiator, honestly. But so the if, problem is there's a lot of them banned. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's two ways, in my opinion, to deal with it, right? You either get wave clear, or you get an aggressive hero who can force the pace of the game and stop the other team from gathering the lane momentum that they want. Okay. And just be disruptive to them in every sense. And when you already have an Enchantress, and you already have a Sardar and two very strong laners, I think that's probably your best bet. Because one single hero isn't going to be able to counter push all three lanes at the same time, which Rock's Kiss definitely have the potential of pushing. What about Tinker? Tinker, Tinker actually work. seems pretty good, yeah. Tinker could work, but I think if you pick Tinker, you would have to go March. I don't think Laser Rocket would serve him that well in this game, just because you don't have an opener until the starter actually gets a blink. And if you go Laser Rocket, you might be able to win your lane, but you're going to be losing towers, I think, if that mm -hmm. ends up happening. So, uh, Abaddon for Rock's Kiss. You mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at this trap right now, and I see the issue of not having counter push how are they actually going to kill anybody as well the damage output of this team is a little bit you know sketchy as well i guess enchantress could help out some bane is not too lacking there but with abaddon draft this this lineup is already very hard to go into and uh i think abaddon makes that situation even worse i don't know i feel like sigma is being outdrafted four picks in no i agree like 100 percent outdraft in my opinion by rock's kiss but i feel like Depending on what style of mid they go for, it could work out for them. But Rock's Kiss know what they're weak against. They've banned the initiators. They've taken out Batrider. They've taken out Puck and Storm. Mm -hmm. Beastmaster's still in the pool, though, and he does the counter push, like you said, and he has initiation. 
Yeah, he would have to go blink, but I, I agree. It is a viable pick. I think Beastmaster is actually really weak against Abaddon. If you want to drop your ultimate on whatever, Abaddon is going to shield it. Ooh, and SF. What? So, so they're playing essentially the stationary style where they say, okay, you can come to us, yeah. you know? They're not going to take the initiation route. They're going to say, Rock's Kiss, you can come at us. You can but try to take fights under the tower. Here's the issue. Every time I cast Sigma in the Dream League for, with you, Andy, I think some point in the game, you ask me the question, where, where's their initiate? Because they're going to all fall behind. And well, then, Sardar is now. Uh, okay. I could see that. It's just... They have Bane sleep as well. It's not so bad. Well, I mean, it, initiation is in somebody who yeah. actually has range. Yeah. You know? But I get what you're saying. It's it's a lackluster initiator, in my opinion, but they didn't really have any options left. Yeah. They took their Sardar as a fourth pick when their, I think Puck was already banned and yes. so was bad at that point. Yes. So I think they pretty much took what they were given. And just having some method of chasing was desperately needed because the one way to punish lineups like Rock's Kiss is to ensure that when you kill or win a fight, you win it hard. That way you get an experience advantage, which on heroes like Sardar and Shadowfiend especially, you can just stomp, you know, snowball, get out of control, and then try to win the game based on that. So their damage dealer is now uh, Shadowfiend, so they've supplemented their damage output a little bit, which I think, Lumi, you were saying is a little bit of a problem, at least mm -hmm. earlier inside of the draft. So I actually think that the SF kind of rounds up their lineup okay. I still would have rather them get they're gotten their hands on something like maybe a puck. Of course, it was banned. But I just like seeing Fata on the hero because he always knows how to make things happen and find the picks that he's looking for. And when you're against heroes like Lycan and Nature's Prophet, you want somebody who can isolate those heroes. I think nearly every game we've seen Exhort Invoker, there's been like a Chen or Enchantress against them. And they seem to have ganged mid like a lot. And that seems to hurt Invoker heavily. Oh, baby. Yeah, they're asking for a remake. Um, and I don't think the Dyer want to remake. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. Maybe somebody took the wrong hero? Let me look. No, looks like everyone's in the right hero. Uh, Maybe it's a bad routing to the server. I know there's been some oh issues. Oh my god. Where, um, yeah, it's it's not a great time <laughs> to remake. <laughs> it doesn't if really case. matter. I mean, mm, it could. It, it definitely does, because if it's, if it's enough time between the remake... You think somebody's going to come watch it a VOD? Or one of their friends is going to message them. I don't know. That's that's pretty crappy, actually, that it happened yeah, that's at true. that particular but time. But here's the thing, though. If you how, for no reason, the juke's up. But you would have wolves at level one. You wouldn't have how. He, he has, has how. how. Oh, he has it. When you're going Roshan, you should have how. How much does 20 wolves? damage? 20 times 5. And then yeah, plus okay, okay, on the yeah, nature yeah. And then you're right. as well. Yeah, so. You're right. It it's actually should be completely obvious when you hear the first how. But, but you put the sound off. I play with sound low. Okay, like 5% sound? Like 5%, yeah. Okay. So I can hear things like shadow blades and dismembers and stuff like that. How do you even hear that? I don't know, man. I'm like an, I'm an eagle. What I lack scary. in my hair growth, they make up for an <laughs> insanely good hearing. I see. Hmm. Like I can actually understand what the studio over is saying right now. And what, I have an inner. What did they say? Well, it's in Swedish. I mean, I can hear it, but I can't understand it. That's when your hair goes. You lose right. more hair than you... It's like spider sense, but mm. like bald sense. I don't have it's any good. of that. Damn, that's pretty good. Yeah. This Shane guy's buddy sucks. <laughs> He yeah. has no special powers at all. <laughs> He's just bald. That's yeah, okay, man. Extremely shiny. Somebody uh, took our broadcaster slot. I'm so sad. He took it as the, the number one. Yeah, it's okay. He's gonna get kicked. No, you you can't sit there. Why not? Because, oh man, you can't be in that spot. See, I made him leave. Just yeah, by sitting there, you have to yeah. leave. You have to but leave. now you have to leave because I can't there. join. Oh no, I can. See, you all just right, you it. just want to take my spot. How do you Whatever, change man. the the flag? It's okay. It's okay. Country. Oh, Ireland. Do Ireland. It's okay. It's just gonna. It's happen. Paddy's day. Do Ireland. I don't know what's going on. English lessons. No, do Ireland. Oh, he did China. There we go. I feel like that's a that's a misrepresentation of what we're actually bringing to the table. Yeah. Because what if somebody's actually watching and they click on that and we're speaking <laughs> they English? They changed this back so fast. They're, <laughs> they're, like, no, they're like, no, 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 we don't want China. Nope. That's not it. It's definitely not it. So. Draft-wise, let's consider the level one, right? Sure. If that happens, everybody starts the game off at level two. I don't think they'll do it's it It's not going to happen. I don't you think, think they're going to change it? Yeah. No, no. Even the, like, Suppose there was no remake. Sigma here is a how. They all run into pit. I think it's too late. I think it's it's too late for that stage. They went like really quick. Yeah. Yeah. Level one Roshan, he doesn't have did much HP at that, that point. That? I think so. Because yeah, they, they had to, to get there that they fast. Okay. You know? So you imagine they won't do it again? No, I don't think so. Okay, so back to your point. Okay. If they get how a level one, what will happen, right? Is that is that what you're going? No, with I'm, this? I'm saying like if they or get if, a level if one rush, yeah, yeah, if yeah. it succeeds. Yeah, and we assume that they will. Yeah. 
Let's see. Invoker is going to get... Uh, Exhort. Exhort. Yeah. I imagine for yeah, the damage, he's yeah. gonna get Sunstrike. So you have a CM at level two, which is completely dangerous. You have a Bat at level two, that's two nukes as well, and then you have Howl and Wolves, which means that if you misengage after they kill it, yeah. you're getting first you're blooded, like 100. percent Yeah, and then Sigma would fall very they, far behind. They have Venom Answer though. I think if if, if you catch if, them if with the punch down, yeah. Like, oh, if, you mean if they go into the pit? Yeah, if you catch them. Okay, so which one are we arguing? Are we arguing whether they're gonna win the fight? I think and get level one it, Roche depen it depends on the position of the heroes, obviously. But if Venomancer is close enough when they're at the Roche Pit, uh -huh. he can really just throw a spanner in the So works. I actually don't think, regardless whether they react quickly enough, let's say they hear how and immediately Sigma goes in the pit, I don't think they get the Roshan. I think it takes way too long. CM has a shoddy animation. Yeah, and really bad base damage. Abaddon, 38. Abaddon plus Wolves. Or Abaddon gives the... He, he learns the third spell, the passive. Yes, which increases attack speed. Yeah. Abaddon plus the Wolfman plus True Treants will initiate a stomp from the Centaur, or... Roshan. Roshan Baron, whatever. And then uh, attack speed slow down further. Um, mm. So I actually don't think they would get it, but that's just me. Well, apparently they're actually talking about it in the lobby, so I think... Um, you give, give us, us Rosh, Rosh question mark. <laughs> Yeah, that's, um, uh, he says we would have checked Roshan, and I'm pretty sure, I didn't look at the positioning of Sigma's heroes, I have no idea. Like, I don't, I don't know if they were anywhere near or not, but I think that Rock's Kiss were actually there so quickly. They were there really quickly. That yeah. it would have been dead. Or close to. Okay. I think I it mean, would have actually we would been. we would never know now. Yeah, I know, it's, yeah. it's hard that's to say, sad, because yeah. all you can do is theorize, you know, what would have happened given X or Y circumstances, but it kind of sucks, because I think that that would have put Rock's Kiss, like, unbelievably ahead in that game. Yeah. Goblock seems to think there were five in the base. He was upset. Hmm. A little bit. I, I'd be pissed. No, yeah, I mean, it's. Were they checking, though? I think there were a couple of heroes going top. Yeah, they were, they were, they were, they were. Yeah, they, would, they would not have been there in time. Yeah, okay. It's like, no way. So... And the thing is, even if you check with like two heroes, they just kill you. What actually happened? Did one of their players time out or something? I don't know. Fata disconnected like straight away, and yeah. then they asked for a remake. But Fata had SF, so I'm assuming they didn't like m accidentally take the wrong. Well, here's the problem though. Like in that situation, they can't actually wait for Fata to come back because by the time he came back, he's already still in the well. Yeah. He wouldn't be able to go towards the Roshan pit if they knew Roshan was ex 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 happening at that point. So yeah, I guess that's true. Man, what a start to the day. First, we got body switching. Yeah, I, I'm, now we I'm got still, people I'm still trying to really do level confused. one Roches, and a game gets remade. There's just shit happening nonstop. We're still waiting on one, by the way. Um, wait, no. No, he's sitting in the lobby. Goblack isn't. He doesn't want to join. Yeah, the they team. want to talk over it. Okay. okay. I, don't. I actually don't look very green, at all. No, but you know what I mean. Show a bit of. Okay, they're arguing about it, but I'm I'm gonna stay out of that because it's none of my business. You know, it's it's whatever the teams and the admins decide basically what goes down. But in those circumstances, honestly, I say you just go fresh and just see what happens. You know, redraft. Like no, 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 fresh, no. Fresh? I mean, like take the heroes that you had and just play it out. Because don't. even if they didn't get a level one Roche, I still think Rock's Kiss draft. Take a better double bluff yeah. You know, because they, they said well, give us the Roche. They just go there again until no. They're gonna one. check this time. They're gonna check. Because you, you don't lose anything for checking, like mm -hmm. at all. And, and you lose so much for going for the Roshan, you know? I don't know, there's like talk of reconnecting to the game. I, I feel like this is getting Yeah, Rock's Kiss is trying to reconnect via console. But the thing is, if everyone's out of the game, the game ends. No, but you can still do that, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> if every single player is out of the game, you can still reconnect. Because I don't think that I'm, stays I'm up. Bruno. I think I know these yeah, kind of true. things. Yeah, okay. I'm not. I'm not actually <laughs> one to argue with that. That that could be true. But the problem is, like, even though they let's let's say they reconnect properly, Shadow Fiend's still in base. So I think Sigma's hmm. feel like they're uh, getting the short end. Yeah, but level one Shadow Fiend, like you can learn the raises. I mean, you could. Uh, no, he he already learned Necro Mastery. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. So. He you never know. You, you might you might get like a first hit on a hero, and then you get what? You get first blood. All your souls. souls. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. He's just like so right clicking. And that then you shoot up to level cool. three, and then you get more souls. Man. Holy cow. Okay, so we're going to redraft. That's yeah. the consensus. I, I think redraft is fine. Okay. So we're asking God Black to take his slot now, because he's not pleased with the he's situation. He's not sitting down. Please sit down. Yeah, it's like, just, sir, have to And he's huge. So yeah. if he was standing and pissed, I would be like, please, please sit down. You can redraft. Fine. You, can, you redraft. can do whatever you want, you know? I feel bad for him. They still had a better draft, I think. Right. Uh, like you were saying, they still have. Yeah, I think they did as well. Yeah. But, maybe but now, what do they do now? Do they do something completely different? Do they still go with like a push-centric strategy? 
completely change the balance. I think Rock's picks. Kiss could play in very multi-dimensional ways, so, you know. Like three-dimensional? Two-dimensional? Four. Four-dimensional. Whoa. You're trying to fit that in your head? I don't even know. I'm really confused what actually happened, because apparently somebody on Sigma did something wrong. Like, maybe somebody misskilled or whatever, and maybe that's why the what, remake what, happened. What is, what is Go Black saying? Well, well I, where are you getting that somebody did some, something wrong? Well, because uh, fucking Matt apologized. He's like, yeah, our bad. You know, we'll we'll just remake. You know, and we if if it happens again, they say they're not going to remake again. So I'm assuming it was a mechanical error on somebody on somebody dropped. Sigma. Fata dropped. Hmm? Fata dropped. Right. That's the yeah. mistake. No, no, no. It's not a mistake. It's like something happened. Like you know, somebody bought two couriers or some shit like that. Like somebody messed up. Oh. And then they just remade the game immediately. No, no. It'd be so, so next level if you if you knew they're doing Roshan, but you can't get there in time, and then you just like pull the plug. I'm not saying that's what Sigma did. And, like disclaimer. That's, that's like puppy paws level <laughs> shit right there. Yeah, that's like five so next level. It's like, yeah. I know. I don't think they did. Sigma seemed like nice no, guys. No, no, no. Sigma would never do that. I would vouch. Or would they? No, they would. They're such. They're such like <laughs> nice guys. All right. Apparently he wants to go same draft because he's saying do AP, but I, I think the consensus was that they wanted to try to do. I don't know what's going on. I'm just like, I I hope to go for it again. I just wanted to watch Dota and potentially talk about yes. Dota. I actually want friends. a short day of Dota because when you guys order food, I know I'm the Asian so... guy just doesn't get it. Right, so, dude. <laughs> everyone was sitting in the hall talking about the food. We were all there. Yeah, literally. Uh, I'm sure you guys were like, all right, we're gonna get McDonald's. The Asian guy has his rice and cooker now. And then everybody is so like, he's let's good. lower our voices. Okay. Let me get here. What do you want to eat? No, that's, no, that's exactly I, what's happening. I don't understand how it keeps happening. This is like though. the fifth time. Well, basically, I, I pretty much shouted to Andy down the hall, like, what do you want again? Because I forgot what he wanted. Yeah. Uh, and then, I tell you, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Fucking Bruno. I'm Fucking sorry. Bruno. I feel so bad now, though. You should. Well, you know what I don't feel bad about? What? We're back in the draft. And it looks like it's a... Uh, it's a complete remake, so we're going to okay. redraft. Awesome. Sweet. I don't know if Kyle Black's going to be pleased, but thankfully he's not in the studio because that would be a lot more unnerving. I'm okay with him being displeased from Aren't this. These you, guys can mute this. you can mute this, but How do I mute this? There's a button. So Bruno, show me the button. There's, a, there's Press my button for me. I can actually hear your headset too. Like the fact that it's coming out twice. Yeah. Is it good now? No. No. Yeah, that's right. I can actually still hear myself. Hmm. Wow, that's really, that's really weird. I sound awesome. You do sound pretty good. See, I accent. I just talk nonsense. Oh, I probably could do this. Everything sounds good when you say it like that. That's like the one thing. Okay, so Irish or Argentinian accent? Since you've had both. Like, you have yeah, to decide yeah. now which one's better. I think I'll go with the Irish one. Really? Mm. Okay. I had a feeling you'd say that. It's surprising. I know. I, I okay, so we're dropping everything again. Okay, so oh. everyone on Rock's Kiss is disconnecting. They're probably angry because it's mm. captain's mode and it wasn't. Maybe I'll pick. they didn't ask for it. Mm. No. It's Wait, so great. are we disconnecting? Yeah, because their entire team just left. Yeah. Cool. It's not a great sign. Man, this takes me back to like Dota 2 in uh, 2012. What happened then? So I was I was doing, I was casting this league that doesn't matter because anything besides Dream League just doesn't matter. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. And um, I think that was actually one of the first Dota 2 leagues, TPL and TPL 2. Oh yeah, I remember, remember that. that. I remember that. Lovely lad called Ainge mm -hmm. made it. Uh, in any case, shit like this will always happen. You, really? know, you come at 10. You know, I have to say, goes, though, yeah. this is the first time anything like this has happened. For a long time. Yeah. In, yeah. The, in this competition so far. Anyway. For Dream League, right. Like, there, um, last season, there were issues with uh, EG because they were having, like... <laughs> DDoS, you know, wasn't it? They had to keep going through the freaking tutorial every time they wanted to play a game. What? Uh, Why? Yeah. Because they're that bad. I guess it's a joke here. Yeah. It's a tutorial. You know, it teaches you how to play the game. Right, so they have to use it every single time. Is that why I'm 1700? Because I haven't played a tutorial. Yo, oh my god, you've got it's here. What page is it on? Play, and then it's like tutorial. Holy shit. Yeah, you're 2K today, man. Roll to 2K. I got it, boys. I got it. You know, every time I look at people and I see anybody under 3K, I'm just like, I really wonder, <laughs> you know? Well, someone actually messaged me the other day and said, Shane, how do you have such a oh, high MMR? Or Bruno, right. and I was like, my MMR is not high at all. I, I like, I think it's pretty crap. Like, and I was like, you just play Dota, and have fun. And then they're like, what? That uh, that can't happen. When you get to a certain point, it stops being as fun. No, I don't think so. Yeah, I enjoy it more yet. when people are angry. 
That's true, you do. Yeah, I know. And I love playing with you as well because you're just, you're infuriated. And you get, <laughs> you're like, oh, Shannon, I can't tell you, my music's too loud. <laughs> and then it's just like. No, that's actually true. That's actually true, oh, 100%. Because okay. the thing is, my volume is always messed up on my stream, and my stream always complains because I'm like, I'm either loud or my music's quiet, or the music's loud, or I'm quiet, so I'm always like changing all my stuff around. And then when you play with me the one day, like, I'll be honest, your puck is shite, right? Or Shane's <laughs> Shite? Puck. I like it. Shite, right? Okay, you know, in the spirit. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it was annoying, but I actually couldn't hear you. Well, I did say I can't play poker, and you were just like, it's okay, come in. And then, well, I was playing with you, I think it was on Sunday, and I was so Bat hungover. Rider. Like, I, I, was, I was a gentle flower. Like, I, I literally was just, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, just, I, first game I played Lycan, that was awesome. You just, you just click things, you know, there's no okay. complicated things going on, you know, you're not blinking, none of that crazy shit. And then I play Bat Rider, and it's like, sticky napalm, the guy has a magic stick, God, this is so much hassle, and I'm dead. <laughs> and then that happened, I don't know, like 10 times. All okay. right, so... For Thanks. everyone at home watching, wondering what the hell's going on, uh, we remade two times. Once, because we thought we were going to actually do a complete redraft, which is wrong. Mm -hmm. We actually just remade a second time to go all pick, because Goblike is the authority. Yes. That is basically how it works. Whatever he asks, we will do. We set in stone. Yes. His words are our will. So the well, question not like is ours, but, you know. The people's. Right. So are they going to lose level one Roche? Yeah. No way. No. Not a chance. Fuck it. Let's do it again. <laughs> or or it's so crazy. This is where you do the Alliance TP. This was TP. all planned. This that is all you do the fucking like, Alliance TP, man. Sigma's like, they're not going to do it again. No. That's, That's what I said. It's a double bluff. No. Our SF can get level one raise now. We're going to get like Enfeeble or something. Actually, Nightmare would probably still be better. No. Well, no, no, no. This is what I'm suggesting. You TP, like, you know how Admiral Bulldog did it? Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Suicide to the Roche. This is not. And then do a wraparound. Bait the fight. Yeah. All right. What about this? If he summons the wolves and the treants and then, like, goes behind Roche and blocks them all in the pit. The but army only strategy. Three trees. All right. Yeah. We're in game. And two wolves. Yeah. I don't and think they actually have enough. And they're going. Have enough body to do it. Oh, go on, you mad bastards. They're going. The thing is, everyone from Sigma is actually leaving the base pretty slow. Well, not that slow. And they're going to. They're not smoked, by the way. Yeah, but Enchanter spots smoke on Sigma, so fucking Matt has it if they want to try to get there extra quick. No, they're I think there's no it. way. There's yeah, no there's way, no way it. they're yeah. doing it. If you look at Sadoi, like, he doesn't have the completed uh, Basilius, so yeah. that's like, already a giveaway that you're not doing it. Maybe they just want to try to fight at level 1 now because yeah, yeah, they're like, th this sucks. Um, Alright, so here's the baby uh, shot. They're faking it? Yeah, they're faking 30 it. 30 seconds yeah. to battle. Alright. This is so next level. Yeah, but the thing is, what's their game plan? How are they going to fight against level 1 Gale? The baby strut. Level 1 Nova, though. Oh, Migos coming in! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Alright, Solos. They know- Solos how do they the know the CM's up there? How can they even see the CM? Oh, they, they're guessing, they're no, guessing. No, they don't, they don't. Yeah, oh. they're guessing. Oh, here comes Saki, so running in! Oh, oh shit, right trap! The oh, Gale, it hits on two! They're trying to go on Miguel! Oh, the Lycan's taking so much damage right now, he might actually be the one to go down first. Goblack, he's holding his shield for a very long time. They want to try to turn it around on the Sox, but he's Nova getting quite three. low. Fata... Two? One? I think Nova? he's too far. No, he caught two! He caught Fata and fucking mad! They're still chasing! This is the most is ridiculous this? level one fight! Both teams are so bad at level one! No one kills each other! <laughs> oh, man. Alright, so a couple of very key oh, things in oh. that engagement. Slap on the, the gale hit on two, and he didn't use the gale to dispel the lichen, so he couldn't get any damage done. Yeah, yeah also go black. You just use the shield because even if it doesn't get broken by the enemy team, by the time it breaks, it still do AOE splash damage. Yeah, so and you can just reapply it to the yeah, same yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. I'm completely surprised that he didn't use it. In fact, I think if they use it, they would have been much closer to getting kill. Might have actually got the kill. It's hard to say. I mean, it depends on who they go on because I think Lycan's base move speed is actually um, pretty good. Yeah, it's 305, so yeah, you might have been able to. You were saying they're right clicking him so fast and hard, right? Like, you just drop the shield on him, the slow gets debuffed, and he's going hard. What about Nature's Prophet? I thought he would have been a better target for the shield. Sure, anything. Well, anybody who actually has uptime on their autos and who would stay close enough to the fight to where the shield would explode and actually deal damage. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of nitpicking, but I feel like they might have actually been able to get a kill there. Yeah. But uh, I think that that team fight also show how actually powerful Crystal Maiden early is. Like, she has 700 cast range on her spell, 400 AoE on the Nova, so that adds up to 1100 range, which pretty damn long for a squishy support like that. Does Pass usually play the, I guess when fucking Mad's playing Enchantress? Yeah. They put Pass on... I think they're interchangeable. Anytime there's a micro hero, fucking Mad usually plays it, and then Pass just plays the other support. So I think it's pretty standard Sigma. Like, this is... Outside of the SF, I'd say that's a bit more uncommon, but the rest of the picks are pretty standard, I would say. This feckin' Centaur is giving them awful trouble in the bottom line. Well, the thing is, they have um, 
Goblek, so I mean, anytime Sadoi actually gets in trouble, they can just shield him, and it's like no big deal. Slapping him with his hammer, though. He's, he's doing it, yeah. And the thing's actually gonna die on its own, I think, yeah. before they get the last hit. Ooh. Oh, nope, shield exploded. Nice. Gold secured. Probably was very close. Yeah, looks like they're gonna go gank on the top lane. Yol's gonna get caught out here. Oh, here comes the Enchant Hadouken. And Yol is gonna be dead. Drops a Nova. A couple uh -oh. more right clicks. Oh, no. The creep waves are blocking. Oh. And the big hammer being dropped by the Satir Tormentor. The wolf block. I actually really like what, uh, what, uh, effing Matt did there. Just send the Centaur bot. Just generally when you see that, you're like, oh, the Enchantress is jumping. Yeah, he must be close. He yeah. sent the Centaur, immediately smoke all the way from bot to top, and then got the kill there. Very, very impressive. You know, I just want to say, if that creep wave didn't come, he would have probably lived. Because he got blocked by his own creeps because the satyr was there. And then he got auto-attacked from like, what, four or five hundred range or something yeah. crazy Wait, like that? I want to check though, what, what's movement speed on CM? Like 285? 285. And what's yeah. the movement speed? No, it's speed? 280. Okay, what, what's the movement speed on Hadoken creep? I have no idea. It's more but than 280, right? He got the frost yeah, it is. It's like, I think all creeps are above 300, to be honest. There you go. All man. the large creeps are. It anyway. would have happened. I think the Earth is the fastest, actually. Could be. Could All right, be. looks like they're going to come in a little bit more pause, taking a little bit of tower shots. This is quite similar to what I seen last week with the aggressive Bane Enchantress. Yeah, Sunstrike almost kills Fata mid lane. He's not really having that great of a time. I mean, he's he's 9 and 5 comparative to the 13 and 6 of Solo. So given it's an Exhort Invoker versus a Shadow Fiend, I think his CS is actually pretty respectable given this early phase in the game. What do you think of the early Basilius ring on Invoker? Do you like it? I do like it, especially when you start pulling out Forge Spirits, because it makes it that much harder to actually harass the thing. And also, when Fata decides to leave the lane, if he doesn't push it out preemptively, actually, I might have to hold that thought because there's a wrap around here on mid. He's going to spot it, though. Solo, unfortunately, Ooh, the is maybe not going to be able to live through this on his Ooh. own. No, the TP gets canceled, and now Solo is going to be here on his own. He was expecting some TP oh, support, no. but it's not going to be coming out. It's a one for one exchange as Solo actually takes out fucking Mad. Unfortunately, he got the kill after he died, so he's not going to get any experience Did for that. Did I stop it with his. Uh, I have to assume that's what happened. No, yeah. that was that was. Yeah, he, he definitely oh, did. He's he missing half mana. his mana. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and Crush is on cooldown, and Sprint yeah. is on cooldown. Okay. That is really the, the, unfortunate. The chain on the case. You could tell the way he was playing. Like Solo was yeah. very much expecting Goblack to be there, and yeah, that would have been a totally be different fight. So unfortunate. So Sigma lead right now, two to one. They managed to secure the first blood on Yol, and now they get another kill on Solo. But he does get one back, so it wasn't like a total disaster. I mean, it is total disaster in the sense that the two supports have spent 270 gold in combination and didn't do anything with it, so... It's actually, like, it hurts so much to buy those early game TPs and not get a kill. Well, CM got a bit of solo experience, man, like three or four creeps. It's a little thing. Not worth. Little thing. Something's better than nothing. Hey, he's level three now. Yeah. It's not terrible. I mean, considering the Enchantress is the same level as him. But he has two kills. Well, he's been involved in two. Yeah. This poor freaking Lycan, man. He is not having a great time. Only 11-3. Compare that to the 22-5 and five of Slardar. I mean, then some Sox of them are is trees. just having a great time in comparison. Some of them with the, the Nature Prophet babies, like. Yeah, but still, gold is gold. Like, sure, it's an inflated number, but it's still much more than this Lycan's ever going to be getting in this yeah. lane. Oh, middle. They want to go on Fata. There's the Sprout. Teleport oh. reaction coming in. It's going to be from Paz, but unfortunately, he's not going to be able to do anything. Oh, maybe he will. Solo. Solo. 25 Ooh. HP. Sadoi coming in. He's got a shield on still from when he teleported, so he's going to be just fine. That was uh, very close to being a return kill. Does he have a solve for him, man? Nah, I don't think he does. He's only got two points in a Quas, but he has a Tango, so maybe he'll actually stick around for a little while at least. I really like the fact that they drop a shill on the Nature Prophet before he TPs in, because if the fight does last long enough, it's like having an extra nuke in the fight, which, you know, could matter quite a bit. Also gives you 150 life. Sure, sure. I mean, if that's the way you look at it. I mean, he's TPing behind a tower, so that's always good. But yeah, very, like, kind of cute thought out stuff from uh, Rock's Gift. I kind of like Invoker or uh, on Nature's Prophet together. If they don't have any tangos, you can just, like, tree instant sun strike. Yeah. That is very true. The thing is, though, most players will carry tangos, like, just until, like, the 20-minute mark or give yep. or take, because you're going to have an open inventory slot anyway. Yeah. And if 125 gold <laughs> saves you from dying, then bam, you know, definitely worth at that point. Looks okay, like so fucking mad In this boss. position, oh, he took the invisible. I was yeah. thinking to myself, what do you do? You know I what don't I mean? think I, you take it in that well, position. Yeah, I mean, if the supports are looking around the map pretty actively, then you could have seen it. But Solo, he wants to go for Fata. This could be a little bit of mistiming. Pass and fucking Matter coming in from the back. Courier. The teleport no. comes in. Courier. The Courier is mis microed. Sadoi wants it so oh, bad, they actually do manage to get a Pass. Stuck in tower range. Auto attack and tower hut from downtown. And Yol, he gets a kill for himself. Now Sadoi, he throws a Sprout onto fucking Mad. They want a third kill, and they're going to get it. Solo, he picks up the double. 
I thought for a second that might go pretty well for Sigma, but unfortunately that was not the case. That's On the so back strong. line here, Gold Black denies himself to Sock. What a play using the death coil. So Sock made that rotation from bot lane. He didn't get anything. Holy. I hear Drake on the back line going, ay, 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 and that's exactly <laughs> what's going on with this game right now. So, like I was saying, it just feels like Rock's Kiss have the superior lineup. Their damage is just so much higher that any time they focus, and that's another thing to note too, is whenever they engage in any of these small skirmishes, everyone goes on the same person every single time. Which, sure, it's a pro team, they should. But it just goes to show that how much damage they can actually do with even level 1 Howl, an Exord Invoker, and two other people auto-attacking. It's just insane. Yep. Like, no one can live through that. It, it doesn't help that they actually can't focus the people because of shield, which by the way came on the profit again and did yeah. actually do the residual damage. So that was pretty nice. Also, that stun strike on Bane was beautiful. Yep. Oh, they fed the courier too. So is this where you like think about? I how... can't believe he lost the courier like that. Yeah. Like that was an incredibly well, slow. Was reaction. he bottle crowing? I don't no, know. there was no reaction there at all. It was yeah, just... Maybe he just tilted and he was like, fuck, I died. And then just, <laughs> you know, just stops doing anything. I, it does sometimes happen to me when you uh, when you want to give yourself an item that's not yours, that you drag it onto yourself. Maybe. It's... Yeah, but you should always shift to your courier actions, in my opinion, at least, because that way you never have to worry about if it's going back or not. Like, especially if you're bottle growing constantly, yeah. you just shift queue it returning. And uh, maybe he just doesn't do it that way, so. He ended up paying for it. Ward's going to scout out Sox in this top lane as well. He's mm -hmm. roaming quite heavily here, isn't Yeah, he? I mean, they just actually rotated, like, straight up four people towards the top lane. They really want to maybe pressure this top tier one. And Yul's going to spot out fucking bad in the woods, so they definitely have some idea of what's going on. But they're just kind of trading they can safe lane on. damage right now, and, and Sedoi can definitely be there. They're going to sunstrike oh on top of fucking mad. They want to try to get him here, Wolves. and they will succeed in doing so. The Wolves actually get the kill. They want more. Doctoral Summoner. He's pretty close to Medallion now. Yeah, that kill definitely helps him. And he's caught up, like, instantly, by the way. Bottom. Thought they might be going for a dive here, but I don't really think they can kill Slardar with these, just these two. Think they need more? Yeah, I don't think they even need to care about Slardar at this point, because, I mean, if you finish the Vanguard, he's not going to have any impact in this game. If you rush a straight blink, well, he's blinking into your team, and you could just blow him up. I just feel like Sigma, nine minutes in, are so far behind now that that score three to six doesn't even really tell the story. It's the losing the couriers. Every time you smoke gank and then you get killed. And here comes a gank on the mid lane. This is exactly what we saw out of Sigma the other day. Wolves plus so Exor Invoker. And uh, they even has the Joy coming in with a TP as well. Like, that's that's so scary. Like, what can Bottom you do? dive on the Goblock. He's going to remove that amp with the shield. I really think that Sox could have gotten that kill, but he does decide to back off. Gil choosing not to skill his ultimate, but also damage being dealt to the tier 1 middle lane. This seems like Rock's Kiss pretty much all the way right now. Yeah. It's pretty difficult to stop them with a team like this with so much push. After they get a small advantage, they can just destroy towers so quickly. Ooh. Did good denied by Pons on the middle lane. Oh, nice. Yeah, not bad. Surprising that he actually denied an Exord Invoker who has 5 <laughs> points in the Exord. Two That's... Force Spirits and a yeah. whole bunch of trees around. That's and, pretty and impressive. And a Howl that they could have used as well. Yeah, I mean, it, this is like the same Sigma story every time we see them play. They come out of gate slow, gets picked off a couple of times in lane, and then they just have no recovery. I, I don't think this lineup is capable of making a recovery. I yeah, guess Fiend can flash farm a bit in the jungle if you stack camps. That's not so bad. I guess, like one person could. Slaughter needs to come up big, and I just don't know where he is. Like, he finishes treads, which is nice. But uh, until he farms at 250 for the blink, he's he's not going to do anything. And and without him, where where is that initiate coming from? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in the same same side as Lemmy here. I, I think like if one hero can recover, that's okay. But you need at least somebody else in the team to be doing well. And who is doing well on the side of Sigma right now? Sure, Fata and Sox have decent CS, but they're not necessarily doing great. Whereas Rox Kiss just got a Roshan at 10 minutes into the game. Their Lycan has recovered pretty much fully from the early game start that he had. He's leading CS and has a kill. Fata's one in three. So even though he got a gank, yeah. the other two ganks didn't really go the way that they wanted them to, and they're kind of just behind in most sense. So he wants to go for a kill on oh, Poss. Or, excuse me, Sox are doing a ton of damage. The he baby's got almost gets him. He does! The nature's profitability comes in, Beautiful. and it's another kill. That is an insane amount of damage. I yes. really didn't think he would be able to kill him like that. Yeah. But, you know, popping Sprint actually hurt him more than anything, because with Cold Snap, you still can't really get away. It's kind of one of them catch-22 situations, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I totally agree. The hardship right now hitting Sigma hard. The hardship hitting hard? Yeah. Wise words, man. I, that's how I roll. What do you get on Invoker now? You're pretty far ahead at this stage again? He could just go book, honestly. 
I mean, I liked the book build for Mendy when solo, he did though. it. Here we go. They're going to ensnare him up. The Sun Strike's going to come. He it's wants to take Migo down with him, and Migo is going to survive going into the trees. There's a shield. He drops the Ghost Wall, Ice Wall. He's still alive, down to about half HP, still trying to run away. That Quas giving him the regen, oh, and he is still hit. alive. Gold Black keeping him there, the trying to TP out. Where's the crush? Oh, oh my gosh. God. He lived. Nobody <laughs> right click him. Sock just He didn't around. try to switch or one to, to stomp. Unbelievable. <sighs> How can you make that mistake? He had a 7 charge wand and he was on strength treads. Oh, Sox go why? Until. Oh my god. Until. That's all I could. How much health did he have? Like five? Not a lot. Not a lot at all. That was. That was completely incredible. I would be like demoralized if that happened. Like you commit everything to that hero and you can't kill him. Did they lose a single hero? No, they didn't. No. Okay. I love the timing on the sleep. It just wore off and like with a sword, he just like heals him up. For, oh, it was awesome. Well, CM just got a Midas, so... Game looks pretty good. At least if you're Rock's Kiss, if you're a Sigma fan, not so good. I just don't understand what Sigma's lineup is supposed to do. Like, in terms of sitting there and going aggressive and trying to stop a Lincoln from farming, sure, you did your job. But you're actually sacrificing two lanes to do that, because Abaddon and Prophet aren't scared Radiant's of a Slardar or anything. Fallen. Like, Slardar Venomancer does nothing to that lane because the shield dispels the Gale. You have no kill potential, so ba basically both heroes just sit there and farm. And in that sense, Rock's Kiss get the better of it, because an H's Prophet, in my opinion, translates to a more flexible style than a Slardar, Radiant's who basically has to go Vanguard this game. Fallen. So he doesn't even get initiation items. He, he benefits less from the farm, in my opinion. But they're going to find Yol. Fiend's Crypt going to be used. Should be a pretty easy kill here for Sigma, one they desperately need. Unfortunately, though, oh. it's on a CM, but they're going to try to turn it around, waiting for the Sun Strike. It actually is going to miss. <laughs> Unfortunate. Looks like fucking Mad's going to be able to get away from this one, more or less scotch free. I mean, the, even if it hit, I don't think he'll be in trouble, right? It would, he's healing. Yeah. yeah. He's okay. got the nature's attendance on. The, on CM, she only lost like seven gold or ten gold when she died because of all that reliable gold from the Hunter Midas. Yeah, man. Reliable gold, best gold. Yeah, man. Looking awesome. Also, lane tactical is really good, too. <laughs> I tried to charge you that the other day, and you weren't very happy about it. No, I'm, I'm the only one allowed to do that. Oh, That's the thing. Okay. It's like I invented it, so did I'm you? allowed to do it. I did. Okay. I was playing with one of my friends, and they asked me what I was doing, because they came to a lane, and I got two kills. I was like, oh, it's lane tax. I yeah, came yeah. through lane, so this is my creep wave. What? I had to get 20%? Is that yeah. how it works? Wave. Yeah, that's how it works when I play. <laughs> it's, it's probably really not that good to do, but I do it anyway. Sunstrike? Possibly going on fucking These mad. These wolves are causing a fucking storm. <laughs> you know, I, I didn't know there was a term for it, but every time that it's like, if I'm playing carry and a mid comes gank, and he takes my wave, I was like, all right, you know, you could take the wave because you came in gank, but he just misses the last hits. So I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so he got his gank though, so he's happy. Four right, staff. So yeah, four staff on SF. I think it's a necessary evil though. Four staff allows you to get a sprout, allows you to get farther away from cold snap, so you're not continually taking the mini stun. I think it's not that bad if you think that you're not going to be able to get a BKB fast enough. I think four staff is amazing. I would go it as a core. Well, I used to go as a core when they gave you the attack speed, but and the damage. I think it was my favorite item in the entire game. When Until they it. nerfed it. Yeah. It's like the same reason why you buy Yules on Puck instead of going BKB, Dying. because the item is actually is way cheaper than a and BKB. And it's also small parts as well. Yeah, and it gives you the same thing, really. It's just dispelling a silence or putting yourself or someone in a, up in the air, you know? Oh. Sound strike oh. hits. That is so much oh. damage. He oh pops it. Oh, he actually goes on the down downtown. Goblack with the miss coil secures the kill. Now it looks like Roxkis want to potentially go on the tier two, and Fata almost instantly dies to just a nature's profit ulti right there. Oh. I mean, he just has no the HP at all. Oh, courier killed yep. in the so. back. Kills Sasha it with a melee it hero. But they lose their tier two middle for that. So I think Roxkis are kind of Maybe even okay with it. They, they're going to lose Rax, I think, in this push. But regardless of what the Slardar hero, are they going to defend this? No, I don't, I don't think, think so. they can, yeah, man. Exactly. Get Get look career. at this army. Okay, so, so how? Two, they're going for two nature, uh, two books as right, well. So they got a little bit of wave clearing. Sucks trying to come in. He's he can't even use his crutch. He's, he might actually end up going down. Sunstrike going to be off the mark, though. Gets very, very low. And they defended this a lot better than I thought they were going to. So looks like Rock's Kiss are actually going to be the ones retreating for the time being. But even buying time, Sigma have already committed to a four staff on their carry. Is that going to transition very well and later into the game? I mean, at this point, if you're Sigma, you have nothing to lose, right? That's true. Because the game is... You kind of have to. Yeah, right? you just go whatever to keep playing for five more minutes. It's also really good against Nature Prophet Sprout as well, because yeah, you're in the yeah, little yeah. cage, and then you just like... Shoom, straight through. Brutal. Yeah, no. yes. I'm going to call you out. Go on. But Andy said that already. Did he? I did. You got to listen. Apparently, I don't listen. It's okay, man. 
It's okay. Andy say a lot of shit. And I just talk over him. I don't listen to him. <laughs> I just heard that one thing about the voice act. It thing. just so happened that I was tuning in during yeah. that particular <laughs> segment, and I, I just I happened to catch it. Yeah. So here comes the tier two push. Is there any way Sigma could actually? If Mego sets up like seven wards, maybe he could actually slow this down. He has max ward as well. Well, I mean, he has to have it. They haven't really been on the aggressive this game. They're pretty much just playing purely defensive. Yol even has DD, man. That's how you know it's a push when your CM is hitting twice as hard. And she has a drum now, though. Yeah, it's kind of crazy actually. How much uh, how much money he has? From all these towers in the Roshan. I think this tower is dead. I think it's going to be very close to being dead if it's not just dead from this. Here's the hell. Look at, oh, look at it. Here we go. Oh, come on, the trees. Hit the tower. Yeah. There we go. So, Nexus Prophet secures himself another tower hit. And this is two Necrobooks coming up, by the way, on the side of Roxkiss. I think two at level two, one actually close to level three. Sedoyus is going to be three very soon. And actually, yeah, it's going to be two level threes probably in the next minute or so. And then when that happens, Double raising the creep wave suddenly becomes a lot scarier. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure two of those things exploding just straight up kill Fata. And the four stuff doesn't give much in the way you, of health. You gotta keep in mind that Enchantress can take one of those Necro 3, so it, it's okay. Yeah. But it's, uh, you know, it's not, not, not too good. Yeah, not too good. I don't know, man. I, I feel like if Sigma want to come back in this game, they need Fata to just become, like, Immortal. He needs to become power. <laughs> become power. Yeah, that's what that's what it is, man. Like, what else do you do? I mean, it's it's sure better than confusion. Bruno last week was confusion. Yeah, that wasn't really. It was confusing. So yeah. I guess maybe if that's I didn't what know he was, what was going, going for. It worked out. Yeah, but apparently I am Bruno. Yeah, I am confusion. Yeah, but, you know. it's body swapping too. Mm. That's the thing. All right, so we got the blink dagger on slaughter. Is this where the real magic happens? The thing that I'm worried about is I feel like he's going to blink in and just die. die. Yeah. Because he's going to blink in. Godlock really doesn't have a reason to stay in the front. You know what I mean? Like, if he stays in the front, he's just opening himself up to get hit by a crush. And if he's there to dispel whoever gets hit by it anyway, then his job is pretty much done. Yep. Sometimes you want your Abaddon to be on the front lines to make sure that he can soak some of the damage. But I don't feel like he needs to do that. He can sit back and dispel grips. He can dispel stuns and amps. And he doesn't need to be in the front this game. Yeah, they want to go really oh. hard here, and they're going to actually be able to pick off the Invoker. Or, right, excuse like me, the, the Lycan, yeah. That actually stops the push quite quite a bit, because I don't think Roxkiss will push. Lycan's dead body is hilarious looking. <laughs> he kind of face plants when yeah, he dies, yeah. doesn't he? And he just kinda... Also, I, I think the head animation chops off. Oh, blink yeah. on a Sedoi. A Sedoi not really paying three. attention right there. Yeah, he's going to turn around the Necro, but no the Manifur does a ton of damage. <laughs> Sakshka, he's made a horrible mistake. <laughs> he turns around to try to go for the kill, but who would have thought Necro book at 19 minutes in is actually pretty damn scary. Fata's going to take quite a bit of damage and actually have to force away from uh, that as well. I was going to say, man, strike. that was great play by Sok because Wait for it. he was waiting for the Prophet oh. TP and then use the Crush to cancel it and then go secure the kill. But uh, the mana burn <laughs> not not strong. He has 3.7k gold. Is it bigger B time? I think he kind of has to make one if he ever wants the hope of getting a requiem off. Otherwise, he's just gonna get cold snapped and turn into a pile of souls. I mean, that's pretty much what he does at this point. I mean, I, I actually think the the most important item right now is buyback because, well, yeah, of course. If they're sitting right outside of your base, you need buyback. Yeah, he's only level 13. Well, well, the yes. thing is, like, I don't think BKB does anything in terms of. Well, it doesn't do anything in terms of him being able to live against right clicks, but yes. Requiem is incredibly important for their team fight because it's pretty much one of the only team fight utilities they have. But no, he, he goes, goes Deso. I agree with this. He goes Deso. Yeah, everyone always so forgets manly. about the damage reduction on. You uh, say Requiem. he has to be power. Yeah, but this I mean, is Requiem power right is power. You are taking other people's souls and throwing them at somebody. How can that not be power? Not enough. Beeps. Anyway, they're they're chasing on solo right now. But the rest of Rock's kids uh -oh. are here to back him up. Uh -oh. Maybe they want to try to turn it around. They're and all in the ice wall. Prophet ulti. Going to do quite a bit of damage to the Sox. He's going to get the double urn. One Three aggressive, seconds. one defensive. Actually, this is one of the few times I want to talk about Requiem and it's minus 50% damage reduction. Yeah. That's what I said. Bruno That's just said like, that. Sorry, Bruno. I, I don't want right. to you. <laughs> Treat those the way you want to be treated, Bruno. <laughs> I think that's the lesson here. Did Very you really close. say that? Yes, did. he did. Like, not even a minute before you brought it up. Apparently, none of us actually listen to each other no. at all. We just talk. No, I listen to you Andy, both. Andy listens. Yeah, but you're the caring one. I'm the only kid. Well, I'm the only one who cares, man. You're right That's why I get you're mad, dad, because yeah. I, I care so much. I care so much. I'm care? not I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. It's so much worse. You know, actually, parenting, parenting trip tips, sorry. Are you a parent? 
Not yet. But then why, why can you give parenting tips? Because, I mean, parenting. our audience is obviously all parents listening. And they, they need some tips. From you, though. From me. Okay. Go on. Being disappointed is actually a lot more effective <laughs> than, being than being angry. angry. Like, uh, dude, am I, are we in agreement with that one? I don't know, man. I would say disappointment is effective, but to be totally honest, I've been disappointed in a lot of things and it doesn't really seem to change much. Damn. <laughs> Damn. See, you're just that kid then. Yeah. I mean, Scriff's my kid, so. I mean, we saw how he turned out. Oh, jeez. God help him. It's a mess. It's terrible. It's really not great. <laughs> oh, I share a room God. with that person. Yeah. So here comes the push from Rock's Kiss. The triple race hey, coming hey. out. They, oh, the they're counter pushing fairly well, given yeah. the circumstance. They're going to be forced to pop another glyph. But this is kind of the make or break right now for Sigma. If they can't defend this, then things hey, are going to get making. really out of control really quickly. There's a lot of gold as yeah, well. The there you go. Babies. They got the six wards now. The raises are coming in. I think they're holding. Oh, there oh, we go. It is. Nice double crush. Godblack, he's going to dispel it on Sedoi, but Solo taking a ton of damage. Oh, here comes the Requiem from Fata. He manages to get it off in a team fight. Pretty impressive. So far, they're holding their own quite well, and the Lycan is just running around. He can't really do much. Look at the Damn. rage on that grip, by the way. Sidoi from downtown in a lot of trouble. Holy Another shit. shield onto Solo. He's so low. Another raid is going to come out from Fata to secure the kill. Onto Yol. Now a nightmare onto Lycan. Can they actually follow this up and get more kills? They've taken one out so far. Another blink in from Sachka. The crush onto Sidoi. It's a double for Fata. They're actually defending Holy this. Shit. The Desolator from downtown. He gets the triple. Abaddon still has oh, his own team force this up. up to the high There's ground. Blink. There's Blink socks on He wants it. to go for no, it. Sock. No, he doesn't see it. Wrong way. He doesn't so is going on, The sock. anger crush. <laughs> he just got so furious that he didn't know where he was and he stomped the ground. The juice <laughs> coming out from Goblack. He, he wants to even just place it. Ward, are you kidding me? Dude, I think Sock is dead. What a man. I don't know what just happened, man. That was such that a sock fight. Dude, Sock's going to get slowed down by the hit. Hit him. Hit him. Ooh. Nah, he's out of there. There's no way they can You know what just happened? Mother effing power just happened. Fata <laughs> just I can't dropped believe down he the got the Requiem And off. guess what? They're getting tier two. What is going on with this game right now? That was actually insanely good, though, because when they went in, Miko got a Gale that allowed them to continue kiting, and the Lycan ult, he didn't really do much. The Sprout that Sedoi threw down was actually detrimental to him hitting anybody, because he doesn't have a Quelling Blade, so he couldn't open the Sprout and do any damage. He just walked back and forth, <laughs> and then the ult is down, and then your hero is useless. I think the Rec Room getting off was huge, though. Yeah, it was. The damage reduction is massive. And it's actually not for the damage, but really the damage reduction. Yeah, and That's the slow the, as yeah, well. Yeah, the slow as well. But And it's really scary. Yeah, it is pretty terrifying. Yeah, did you I, see that? Oh my god, I'm getting out of here. I, I think that last team fight really showcased how how great Fata played it because there was multiple times where he was raising and he noticed that there was a low HP Necrominion there, so he canceled the race to not die to that Necrominion. Six hundred Bane damage. actually was a uh, brain sapping them, and he only takes half damage because. His brain staff gives him 300, so he, it's not 600 damage he takes anymore, it's just 300 damage. I can't believe they defended that, honestly. Oh, here comes again. This they don't time, have they don't have yeah, yeah, yeah. This is kind of what happens in my pub games. We keep going, smashing our faces against the racks until we get them. Well, I don't think this is smashing your face, because they they should be so far ahead. They, in fact, they are far ahead. But these raises... They need to oh, man, the okay. Necro books. Big crush. More right. raises coming out. That one actually kind of whiffed. Enchantress needs to dominate one. one needs to dominate one. Yeah, but there's so much here. The tower is still going to go down. It looks like the flood is finally starting to overtake Sigma right here. They're just going to pop the Lycan ult. They want to try to go in, but Fata, he actually is quite damage. hard at they the time. They can't kill right. the two Necro minions because whoever... Oh my oh god! No. No. That's what oh happens. No. Here comes the crush. Yos actually gets four staff and the right clicks, but the mech comes out here. Fata, no! Two man sprawl and now bounce around to the other side. The Lycan Wolves getting right click down. Oh my Get god, the, the damage! The Rax is still alive. Sidori's going for it. Sidori wants it to take it down. One more click! It's still alive! Oh it's no! Still alive! The group comes on so yeah. The the uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> they get the racks, but how much are they going to pay for? He just melts immediately. I think Sigma's actually happy with how that push went. <sighs> oh, I can just picture them on TeamSpeak together. Like, go ahead and kill the fucking racks. Oh, Sidoi is so sad right now that he stopped attacking. He was so confident in the fact that that auto attack was going to get the kill on the racks that he just turned. But that, you know what it was? That fucking five health regeneration, man. Yeah. That's what saved yeah. the Rax, basically. Yeah. And well, the extra I mean, armor as well. Didn't save it, but it made Rax Kiss commit to getting team wiped okay, in order so to get a Rax. My question is previously we had a four kill, I think. God, three Fata or four is kills, so right? Harmed. Look at his gold. He's got so much money. Yeah. Okay. He could build an entire anything. He could buy almost anything in the game except for a rapier or a dragon. He's five. only 200 off. Yeah, but I don't think he goes rapier. He might just go like butterfly or something. Maybe he buys. Maybe he goes. 
Well, BKB now. Hmm, interesting. I think now's okay-ish. Yeah, it's and still, he still has money for buyback, yeah, which I, if I think, Rocks Kiss continue like throwing yes, themselves at the base, this is that the buyback is the most important part. But like, okay, if you lose a melee Rax against a Prophet, a Lycan, but you kill them about eight times in a tier one tower in exchange, do you think that's worth it in the situation that Sigma's in? I think it is because Sigma have a better hard carry potential. In my opinion, like behind having the Slardar, the Minus Armor, you know, and the SF, it's going to be harder for Roxas to outcarry that particular type of team because look at the items that Sedoi has bought, right? Like he buys Mech, he buys Book 3. Even eventually, Book 3 falls off, like in yes. terms of how effective it is. Sure, um, Poss killed himself on the Necro Book inside of the base. <laughs> Unfortunate, but hey, it happens. Um, I, I just think that if Fata continues getting this much out of every single engagement, that sooner or later he's going to become too tough to deal with. And now Sigma actually want to push outside of their base before Roxkiss even get there and try to make something happen. And they're going to find Grip. this poor, poor Lycan. Rip. And he's not getting away from this. He's just dead. Oh, they want to continue to chase. Miggle gets double, double force staffed. Goblack, he's going to dispel the Gale. Miggle taking quite a bit of damage. Ice Wall going to be used as well. Cancel on the crush. Blink forward. Nice. Deafening actually hits on four. But I think Solo is still going to end up going down here. And this is a total disaster for Rocks because they're just losing Holy everyone. Shit. Are they actually going to be able to pull this back? In the meantime, though, Sedoi was pushing top. They're continuing to fight. Goblack, he's taking a nap right now. He can't help his Crystal Maiden. The ult gets terrible. RNG does almost no damage. Goblack, he's behind the tower, his own tier 2. He's still got a 4 staff up and his ulti. He might be able to live through this. No, he's body be block. careful though. Body block. Three more seconds on the crush. Are they going to dive this? They're just going oh. deep, man. There is still a Desolator. They might be or, excuse deep. me, a BKB up on the they, they just don't want to stop. No. They're never stopping. Never ever stop, says Sigma. Well, my mind's fucking blown right now because you're fucking mad. That one failed push. Like just crush them so hard, and then they, they got a range rex. They they lose everyone for that middle rex though. Twice, I don't know, man. Andy, have you ever seen a game like this? This has got to be one of the craziest games I've ever seen. Yes. Like, do you remember at, even at the start of the game with that Roshan thing? What yeah. the hell was that? <laughs> That's like that was yeah. kind of setting the tone yeah, for what yeah, this yeah, game yeah, would yeah. be. No one even like it's like okay lads, let's just punch each other a bit, but no one kill each other. I want to know what Fanta is going to go now. I feel like he still needs some kind of HP. But the thing is, he already has Desolator. No, so I don't like think you go HP. I, I just I, you I think you just go, go Glass hard. Cannon. Yeah, you go. You like go Daedalus or something. Next. Daedalus? He kind of needs a butterfly. Whatever. Though. Like just just think, go some damage. I think if he gets a butterfly with the BKB, then the Lycan can't focus him anymore. And the Necro creeps as well. Right, and everything. then you can just go ham. Right. Sure. I think butterfly is, is synergized really well. With I think BKB. Manta does fine as well. Like you just want more stuff to sit in the front and then yeah. tank for you. Manta's good too. Yeah, I just think. You just want to go damage. Just no, no time to go Q and, and get HP. I don't know, man. This is this is some clowny Dota. <laughs> I, I just want even Socks has a BKB now. Well, where did he get that from, though? Because when I look, we looked at him a few seconds. I don't know, ago. man. He just conjured it out of yeah, nowhere. He was like, you know what? Summoned it. BKB. He put in his freaking Please. console hack and just got a BKB somehow. I just want to commend how well Fault has been playing, because a lot of Shadow Fiend just rolled over, got an Oka Club, and died. But he went four staff into Deso into a BKB. It worked, man. Yeah, it, it worked it, out really well. Well, I mean, this is one of those chances that there's only a one percent chance to work, and if it didn't, you'll be like, oh, why did he get a four staff? He is the one percent. Yeah, he is one percent. <laughs> he is he is power right now, the embodiment. That's what he needed to be, man, and he's delivering, I gotta say. And what it's so say, funny. What did we say during the pre-show? Like, Fata always carries, but you said he, he had to, to carry it harder. <laughs> he needed to step it up and carry harder. He heard you, bro. Yeah, no, there you he go. He was like, okay, David, I can fucking do this. The thing with the minus armor, though, it gets better as the game goes on, I, th I feel. Like, the slider gets level 16, the Shadow Fiend gets his ne levels in the, in the minus armor. It, like, it becomes stronger and stronger. Well, the, the way I always think of it is, armor actually counters minus armor. It's not the other way around. Because at some point in the game, you can just buy a 1400 gold item and counter like the Deso and Presence of the Dark Lord completely. Sure, you're still gonna have to worry about Amp, but they have an Abaddon. So, so you're saying it's more cost effective to get plus armor than it is to actually do minus armor? Yes. Okay, that's fair. Because it, look at the Deso, right? It's 4400 gold. Mm -hmm. Gives you 60 right? No, it's 4100. Excuse me. It yep. used to be 44. But it's it's 4100 gold, and you're minus basically. Six it's, or seven. it's minus 7. Yeah. Right? And the playmail is 1400, and it's plus 10. Sure, the Desolator gives you damage, but I'm just arguing just purely the armor factor of it and the accessibility of the item to even supports or getting a Ghost Scepter, you know? Yeah. Like things like that. I feel like it's actually very easy to counter heroes that just hit really hard with no disables. You know what they need? They need Desolator 2 from that. Uh, oh, the 
beast mode beast thing. Mode thing. <laughs> that was X Hero Siege. They just stole that. Yeah, did basically. They? I actually really like that item. I don't know why it's not in Dota. The Desolator 2? Yeah. What was it, like minus Because Deso was already one of the most damage effective items in the game. If yeah. it had another item after that was equally as good, that could be considered a full item oh. slot, then I think it would be a little bit sure. ridiculous, to be honest. Stop deafening inside out. of the pit. Wow, Fata actually almost got knocked up to the high ground. Ooh. Meatball Ooh. inside of the yeah, pit. BKB. Here comes the panic. BKB is all from the high ground from Yol as well. Nice BKB oh. from Fata. Is he he's actually going to win though? No! He drops! Oh, no. They actually lose Fata for this. I don't really know if I would have bought back they right now, but perks. they lost the top barracks in the meantime. What? Suddenly there's a wolf inside of your base and things aren't looking too great for Sigma. Aegis picked up by Solo. So there was a little bit of backdoor action going on. And this is not good. This is really not good because they just made Fanta buy back and now he's going to have to commit to an item. I think he, if he can't leave the base, he, maybe he just buys crit. Maybe he buys like a Yasha or something like that. I don't know. He's 1k away from Daedalus, I think, or not uh, Daedalus, Manta. I still think you go Manta if you go for it. He, right now, by the way, he's uh, farming for experience and souls. He, he needs his souls. Obviously, he knows he doesn't get the gold, but still need the creeps. That's one thing about Shadowfiend. He doesn't rely, like, if you die a lot on him, it's pretty fucking hard. Like, you need them souls. You need to farm up for, like, five minutes after you die, two minutes. It's pretty tough. Uh, the AC game. is coming out, and I think once the AC is out, holy crap. Like, that's, that's the minus armor in the towers, man. Not looking good. Yeah, this, this game was actually looking a little bit promising for those last like five to ten minutes where Sigma were valiantly defending mid. Sure, they eventually lost it, but I think what they got out of it was definitely worth Look it. Look at that graph. Yeah, the, the graph is insane, like just in terms of experience and them defending the base and all that. But you can see that Rock's Kiss has had a giant gold bleed like the whole game. Yeah. Like they haven't given that up. It's just props to Sigma for being able to hold it off this long. A lot of it's terror gold as well. Yeah. I, I, I do hope that... Uh Fata, if the fight breaks out, he doesn't sit with 4k. Because strength that line is. But I, I think he's just holding his gold just in case if, if the push doesn't come, he'll just save that gold and go for the bigger item that he originally planned. That uh, that Plague Ward wall is like 300 Graboid edition. That's, so that's basically what it is. I mean, it's a little bit wiggly now, but it kind of has Beforehand, to be. it was like a straight line. Yeah. Well, here comes the uh, the army, as it were. Still two people missing on the side of Rock's Kiss. Not everyone's here just yet. Is there any rules in this competition about Necrobook? Or... I don't think so. There yeah. used to be a rule where you could only get two. Two, yep. Um, the dumbest rule ever. Yeah, it, it's, it got changed a long time ago. Because I remember when I played Dota 1, and like two or three people on the team would buy like a hex. Do the team be like, GG, cheaters? Yeah, two hex was a limitation back yeah. then, too. Which... Sounds dumb. I mean, honestly, I don't see more than two hexes a game just because of the hero the compositions, heroes. you know? Yeah. Like, you just don't see that kind of stuff often. There are games where people buy, like, I think four or five necro books. I've seen that before. But I've never really seen more than two hexes because games just end at yeah. that point, you know? Because so many people have so much farm, the base just instantly dies as soon as somebody wins a fight. And speaking of hexes, there is double hex up right now in Rock's Kiss. Solo and uh, so do I both have one. And there's necro books everywhere, three of them. And cheeses. Yeah. Yep, so Fata does have an Eagle Song. Yeah, it's going to be Butterfly. And I like that choice. I think it's the right one. Should you get the Evasion part first in this situation? Or do you want to do as much damage? Well, the Agility still gives you a little bit of armor, and it still gives you attack speed and damage, which is like doubly beneficial for the hero. So I think it's fine. Honestly, though, I think Fata is kind of in a really bad position in terms of how he had to itemize, just given how the game went. That ideally you would kind of want lifesteal, just so you could stand in the front yep. and you know, absorb that damage. But, but he, he had to go to. Deso. Yeah, he was forced to. Yeah, so it's, it's a really hard position for him. I mean, at this point here, Rock's Kiss is going to just wait for top and mid to slowly push in. And as soon as they see Shadow Fiend like, either low from HP or mana, then they're going to go. Because right now yeah. Shadow Fiend is the only person that could defend one and a half lane. I don't think he can even defend two lanes by himself. Yeah, it's, it's looking rough. And eventually, like you said, Fata goes back to base. Oh, oh he does. Oh, nice three-man crush coming out from Sashka. Solo, he gets enfeebled. Nightmare onto Goblack. And yo, just absolutely evaporates. Sashka just going to town. He wants to chase on Sadoi. Goblack, he gets the ult off. Solo, he's going to drop a meatball. Aegis popped. Fata has the BKB on. Goblack, he's actually going to need one more auto attack to go down. Sadoi, oh, he pops the cheese. He wants to get the kill Still on right. Sashka. Unfortunately, he's not able to do oh, so. Go and Goblack, he actually base. gets the kill on the Slaughter. Lichens. The base, though, it's dying. They're killing the tier fours. Here comes the grip from Poss. They're going to amp him up. Fata might be in some trouble. Force? Four staffs out of the sprout. Double kill for him. They manage to take out the Lycan as well. And Solo dies again inside of the base. Sadoi's so trying to run, but Sokka's on the move. He's, there's no Necrobook to burn the mana. Here comes the low. Oh, oh no! no. Sadoi, you Sadoi. don't have a Force Staff. He's going to get crushed. And that's buyback on as well. Go down, lads. Go down mid. Take that tier two. Take the tier three and go throw. Just go.
Just all right. Just, just throwing go. it. Just throwing it. It's fine. You totally have this butterfly <laughs> now completed on Fate. He's got 1,100 gold after that fight, man. <laughs> if, if there's an MVP for the weekend, it's not him. I'm gonna be surprised. Well, there's what eight I more don't know. Games there, to go? There's a lot more yeah. games, but I'm just saying his performance this game has been. You know what? Well, not, you know what? On next week, this will be on the Lumi Watch column or whatever the fuck it's called because this is the no, most you meant amazing to do thing. It. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. But they're not going down mid. Well, I mean, they have to push out the rest of their base. They kind of had their tier fours being attacked by a wolf and creeps. Yeah, that's. It's kind of hard to push when two lanes are actually attacking pretty much. But your all throne. things considered, they didn't lose anything besides a tier four tower, so they're pretty it didn't important. Change much. Well, they had to buy back on the Slardar and the Shadow Fiend. No, Shadow Fiend already bought back. Oh before. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, before. so that that was. Yeah. Which you traded a buyback from profit, which is a big deal because if Rock's Kiss wants to trade a uh, push on their full power, they ideally will want to wait for that buyback. So yep, that's five that's minutes if Rock's Kiss want to come in for a winning push. Man, this game. It's pretty crazy. But you're in the situation where it's kind of difficult to push against them because Nature Prophet will always just be there, slapping your base. Like. Yeah, that's why he is the king of rats. It's pretty filthy. I mean, I, I want to give credit to Sock as well because that last team fight he initiated with a three man crush. That was like a ridiculous yeah, range. Yeah, it was too, like right? all on the max range. And not only that, Sock was able to zone out, I think. What was it, Prophet and Crystal Maiden by himself and allowed the Shadow Fiend to right click without any kind of impunity. So he made big plays as well. But yeah. Fata is the man that we're looking at right now. And the question is, what item is he going for apart from saving for buyback? Yeah, that's my question. I mean, Boots of Travel, I guess, are next. Yeah, bots would be nice just so we could actually leave the base. But the thing is, it's still very dangerous because the Prophet has a hex. So if the Prophet has a hex and the Invoker, for instance, decides to buy bots too, you can just have trees out and have double hex teleport on you. And that's terrifying to think about. And he wouldn't be able to get away. So What do you think about Manta as a counter to the hex? Like, you just Manta, and then it's kind of like, which one's me? I'm not sure about this, but let's say, let's say you're playing Shadow Fiend, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm the Prophet. I click hex on your hero, and if you're Manta... I think it will automatically find the correct hero. No, it's is that broken? I don't think so. It breaks it. I don't yeah, think it breaks your targeting. Yeah. Does it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, you can. It like it makes it invulnerable, like completely yeah. out of the game for. Like, it seems like whenever I play in that situation, they always find the real one. I don't know how. There's like a specific way that the Manta actually like splits. I thought it's random every no, time. No, it's random. It is random, but the thing is, the way that they appear, you can just tell. It's weird. It's hard to explain, but like I can usually find the right one instantly as well. Hmm. But there's like a way that they split and like I think the real one like pops out first or something like that every single time or something like that. Okay. It doesn't matter where they are, it's just like you can tell. It's weird, man. I don't believe I'm probably you. not explaining it right, but just watch. Right. So you can actually tell by the attack speed, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because the butterfly like, and threads and stuff. Well the butterfly still gives the agility, agility. Benefit, but yeah, the but attack it, speed it doesn't isn't give there. the attack speed. Right. So I mean when tell. he's attacking with four hundred attack speed versus three seventy, don't tell me you're gonna know on a split second yeah, before he's... even attacked. But I'm just saying if if if, if you're like super paying attention. I usually just go by the damage. I, I like the damage they deal, like when they oh, hit yeah, something. Oh yeah, obviously, yeah. but if, if we're hexing and you're talking about using Manta as a way to dodge hex, I don't know. It's just a thought. Huh? You know, this reminds me of um Ocarina of Time. I'm not sure if you ever Played a game. Zelda. Zelda. Yeah. It, it, there was one dungeon, I think it's like the forest temple, where there was the paintings rolling around and you had to find the real Ganon. And people explained it to me. It's like, oh, the real Ganon looks a little bit different. And then it hit me. And you're like, and oh. having, the, the, yeah. so hard this moment is not hitting me right now with the whole real Manta, fake, fake Manta. Thing. I don't know. It's weird. Maybe I'm just like magical. I think I need to just watch you when you're playing against it later. And then you'd be like, Oh, yeah, he's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it works. It's, right, it's actually we'll like test that. it out at home. But nobody knows how, but it just yeah. works. Okay. It's true. So, uh, Sidor actually disconnected. So, okay. we're going to have a little bit of a pause. But this game has been crazy. Like, no. I, I'm just like taking it all in right now yeah, because yeah. some of these fights have been the most ridiculous fights I've ever seen. Like, especially the first one middle where they prolonged it to an extent where they actually just push Rock's Kiss away. Yep. Like, that was impressive. I think, actually, it would have safe to, safe to say that Rock's Kiss could have lost the game on that. Right. Not If not, they didn't die at Roshan Pit when Sigma died. Yeah, when Fata died, yeah. And then they got a top Rax out of that, which eventually led to the ma uh, range Rax as well. And now they just created this pressure because five minutes later, Rock's Kiss is going to come back. They're going to five-man park on bottom lane. And they're not going to do anything. You can even just send the lake on top and just send his wolves in. That's, that's sure, that's whatever. It. Yeah, you could send it from bot and run yeah, it from top. It doesn't even and matter. And then eventually, Sigma has to go for those Hail Mary plays, which, by the way, Sock is playing admirably, like four-man crush winning yeah. fights. 
So and all he has is a BKB and a blink there and treads. So I think what Sigma needs to do on that point when that push comes is like next level stuff. You smoke two of your people and run around. Like you do like a Venno bomb on the back line or a slaughter bomb on the back line because this way, <laughs> like they're losing buildings. Like yeah, yeah. They're, they're not gonna win by, by playing this. You have to do something else. Usually in this situation in the pub game, I'm like, right, fuck the base, fuck everything. We're just going ham mid. That's, 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 well, that's, that's when the Lycan just backdoors your racks. Yeah, but that's yeah. usually yeah. my plan. Yeah. I don't, it's, it's probably a terrible plan. I wouldn't recommend this, but... Well, Lumi is right, though. It's like, when you have two lanes of racks down against Lake and Profit, if you sit on your base, you're just going to eventually lose. Yeah. So you have to try to get somebody. And because of the fact that the Profit bought back his last death, if you can kill him again, or if you can pick off, like, anyone, then suddenly the back door isn't really as threatening. And since Fata actually can push out lanes by himself pretty reliably, at least, well until people start getting bots on Roxkiss, then it's going to be a bit harder. But if he can do that himself, and they can push out another lane at the same time, then you can just make the transition to, okay, five man this one lane while it's up here and just try to go for it. Because otherwise, yeah. it's going to be the War of Attrition. And the War of Attrition against the King of Rats is not one you want to take. And the Wolf of Rats. Yeah, but only Bruno would make that reference. That is actually a very Bruno-esque thing. Yeah, I I, I, wait, for that. that was good. That was hey, good. Bruno, there's a message directed to your body behind you. Yeah. Chain looks good today. Nice. Nice. Did it. All right, so we're back in the game. It's resumed. Sedoi is back. All is well in the, the world of Dota, except if you're Sigma because you're down two set of racks. But hey, I've seen people come back from Megan's, okay? Yeah. I'm Although not calling this is a very, yet. very different situation. Nah. I mean, fine. coming back against Megas 80 minutes in is much better when all five heroes are farmed. Because right now, and nobody. You kind of need, like. AOE damage. You need like a Medusa or a Kunker or something like that. You mean for the creeps? Yeah, I, I don't think spells are enough. Like Shadow Fiends raises don't do it anymore at this yeah. stage. I mean, eventually there is going to be a stage of a game. I think you drop Deso and, and go for a different yeah. item. But we're not very, we're, we're not there yet. And by the way, I think the most important item that Ross Kiss just got up is the uh, Heaven's Halberd on a bad end because we are running into a territory that uh, the BKB doesn't last that long anymore. It's a second BKB. It's pretty long. And well, when you put in the uh, a bad like a bad is gonna survive that a second. He definitely will with borrow time. Mm -hmm. He's gonna get Heaven's Albert, and Fata is not gonna be power no more. Yeah, that's very true. But in that case, does he actually go Mantas as his next item? Mantas Manta does, does not. Oh, do it doesn't spell no, Halberd. No, it does that's not. I actually made that mistake the other day. You yeah. caught. Yeah. I was playing Dota with you, yeah, and you're like, yeah. get a Manta. I'm like, no, Shane. <laughs> no. no. You like hit him with a newspaper that you yeah, had. Yeah. I wish there was newspaper. So my concern right now is, is what is Sigma's game plan? Because the whole farming inside of your base thing, to an extent, I, I sure you might get Fata and Sock a couple more items, but it looks like he's going Heaven's Halberd and Slider as well. Yeah, he could be. It's not bad for the Lycan because the Lycan actually he hasn't gone BKB. And he still does a pretty reasonable amount of right-click damage. And heck, even the Invoker does, honestly. I like these cheap tactics yeah. to sunstrike him. It's like, yeah, whittle him down from afar. <laughs> it's like a trebuchet, man. Do, do you feel that this is a very bad way for Yol to spend his gold? Got BKB, got a point booster, now going back for a blink. Like, do you think a CM ultimate is really going to change the course of the fight? Maybe he's going to Scotty. I, I think you're underestimating how much damage the thing actually does. And not, and not even just not even just for the damage, but for the slow as well. Sure. Like if you BKB Attack blink in slow, slow yep. you have heroes that are very reliant on getting right clicks off. Just having that kind of effect on a fight can be really all you need. So I, I never underestimated. it. In fact, it does 12,000 damage. Well, not mine. Mine does like 10 damage. Right. Mine does none. They just it's just like yeah, it just misses every <laughs> single time. But and okay. then I watch these videos of people who like CM yeah, and get yeah. a rampage, and I'm like. Why does my CMO never do that? <laughs> but let me calculate how much gold she spent into this, right? BKB is 4k, blinks another 2k, that's 6 already, and then point booster, that's 7. Like, that's a necro book and a pipe. That's what I was thinking as well. I think a pipe here, like you uh, pipe your creeps, sure. and then all of a sudden your push is unstoppable. Nothing, yeah? Or you get an, add another necro 3 into that. Like, I actually think that item changes the course of the last 10 minutes much more than whatever she's going for. But that's just me. Maybe she's only... Uh, hmm. When you get the point booster and you don't have that many item slots, I think she kind of has to finish the Agnums. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in agreement with uh, with Bruno. Just finish the eggs. I, I've never seen a CM actually get an eggs in a competitive game before. Solo, though, he's going to get caught out. That Jeez, is please. not good. He does not have buyback, by the way. And four members of Sigma are outside of their base. You can't They're eyeing right now. Look yeah, at top lane. Look at top lane. That's fine. I think that's fine. If, if Sigma doesn't lose their base off of this, they're okay. I don't think it's fine. 
No, right now you're just buying time. You're buying time to actually go later and later in the game because when rocks kiss heroes are higher level, when they die like that, they're gonna have 90 second respawn times. That's when you go for the win. Right now, you're this is like the format. See how much damage he takes. It don't matter. Like as long as your throne's alive, the game's going on. So you, you just play the clock. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with what you're saying. I'm not saying that extending the game is necessarily bad. It's just you have to go all in on one fight, right? And this is going to be another cheese and another Aegis for Rock's Kiss. And I think at this point, this is yeah, where that's now... Hard. That's hard. You, you have to kill two heroes twice, basically. Fresh BKB on Lycan as well. So he, he could know, nearly man. just ignore all the heroes. Goblock even sells his TP. He's like, I'm keeping my urn. Fuck TPs. <laughs> I'm never going back to base again. This is it. This is our time. What about the magic stage? <laughs> I'm not sure yeah. if I would like the fresh BKB. The fresh BKB is nice in all normal circumstances. If Poss grips him, it doesn't matter what your BKB duration is, because you're dying in that BKB. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. Like, I want to. I, I think Fata needs another item. I don't think he can actually save for buyback. I think he actually needs to be so hard to like to deal with. It, you mean if the push came right now? Yeah, I, I think, agree. I, I think agree. having buyback isn't going to matter. Are you, do you think Satanic or something like that? Well, well he, can't. he can't life seal unless he drops the death If you use the Satanic, it'll work, I'm pretty sure. No, it's it's off your base life steal, I think, right? I, I don't think so. And if you're getting a Satanic, six, spending 5k just for that... I think he goes one, Daedalus. Yeah. I, I think Daedalus is what he does. Or Manta. Like I think it's, that's a fine choice. I think if you're going to have an 8 second BKB and you need to be able to kill somebody in that time, then Daedalus is the best choice. Yeah. If you want to really go like hella next level for your item choice, I think Refresher for Refresh double Requiem and double BKB, especially yeah. against a Heaven's Halberd. That would, <laughs> that would be pretty funny to see. I mean, like, I, I've <laughs> never seen this. I'm not saying it would work, I'm just saying it would be funny. Yeah. I mean, that would so, be so next level. He has enough mana to do it as well. Yeah, yeah, I mean, getting the refresher gives you a lot, man. What's refresher? Well. Three seventy-five. Yes. Mana? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, with those necro books running around, I'm not sure if you will. Oh, like, but it's just all, all, all these questions. So very little answers. When he starts getting more levels in quests as well, and the Ford spirits out of more range. He oh, actually he, he only has to. one point in the yeah. wax. Yeah. For that reason, I guess. Okay. Holy crap! Somebody get a bottle and bottle that top DD rune, because rune of GG. That's a game winner right there. Yeah, that's, that is. Well, you know, with Lycan having BKB. No, it actually could be. Like, I wasn't saying it like facetiously. I was actually being serious. Like, a DD will win a game. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I completely agree with yeah. that. But he has to be careful in terms of popping the BKB before or after. Is a bottle coming from anybody? I don't know. I don't think no, so. No, it's just a no. Shiva's guard. Shiva's for Sedoi. Because why the heck not? Ice, ice. I baby. think the Shiva's is actually a good call, though. Honestly. Against the Shadow Fiend? Against the Minus Armor or...? Yeah, against the Minus Armor and just having it so he doesn't just explode to like a Slardar Blink crushing him. Because, it, like, imperatively, Sock has no farm, like, compared to what Sedoi has. And even, like, earlier in the game when he tried to solo him and Sedoi just Double killed him with Necro Book 3, it's still kind of yeah. like that same feeling. So, if your Blink Initiator can't deal with one of the heroes that you have to deal with, then you're just innately in a good spot. I mean, yep. clearly Rock's Kiss are they're advantageous. Yep. So, no wait. Is they, that right? They seem yeah, to be in no rush. They're just farming the whole map. Though. They're in an advantageous position. Yeah. Yes, that's That's correct. what I meant to say. I'm in the authority of uh, English. The authority of English. Yeah. I, I think a hero that we should not forget about is Enchantress, because she's already got herself an Axe Scepter, four staff for utility, and uh, we were just talking about the armor that you will want to get. Well, Impetus goes through all of that, so... Yeah, but the thing is, the Lycan and the Invoker both have 10 second BKBs. Okay. So... Yeah. Your impetus ain't doing much. Well, it's gonna do <laughs> a lot to Sadoi, who is massing armor. Yeah, yeah, it's true. But he still has like 2k health. It's not even like he's. Why that is he squishy. so tanky? Jesus Christ. Yeah, book three gives a lot of strength, man. Yeah. And mech gives stats as well. So does Scythe. 10 strength. Well, here comes this push. All right. No, oh, they're even using alacrity on the Necronomicon warriors. Where well, your people just got they dropped on top of that. This is like. <laughs> and they stole. They stole the infield one. Sox goes in for a nice crush. Some raises being used. They're they just they kill that wave doing. pretty quickly, yeah. yeah. These wards, but again, it's not this wave that matters. It's the top two waves. So we're going to be here for a while. I think this might be a... Like, it's just oh, one mistake. Oh, by the way, SF just, uh, he went bot to Crystal, so he is going crit. He's still saving for the buyback, though. And I mean, if his whole team dies and he buys back, what is he going to do? That's my real concern. I think, honestly, having the item for the fight is more important than having buyback. Well, the, the question is, is, is he the only person with buying back? Can he All the cores have buyback right now. Veno has buyback, and the Sardar uh, does Sardar. as well, yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, looks like they want to try whoa, to go whoa, for this. Whoa, whoa, no, okay. no, 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 no. 
Shadow was, wasn't even there. I was yeah. like, <laughs> Sock was like, I want to go. And he's like, no, don't do it. Such a tough position. You can tell they're getting antsy, though. Yeah. They really want to take a fight. I mean, they, they know. Like, eventually, they will start. I mean, if this is a game where you have a treant, holy shit, that living armor will win the game. But no, it's, it's not like that. That damage. And oh, here it is. Damage. Blink crush in. There is still an Aegis on the Slyke. And remember, here comes Yol with a nice ulti. BKB, though, popped by Fata Goblack. His ult's going to get popped after the grip as well. So much damage. He is getting disintegrated right now. Sakshu is going to be going down. He does actually have buyout. Fata now looks like he wants to try to get focused. By oh, Rock's Kiss. Sunstrike. Four staffs away. There's the Heaven's Hallbird. Sunstrike does a little bit of damage to Paz. Fucking Mad's still alive as well. Did they want to try to turn this. Goblack, he needs to get up to the high ground. Ooh. There's the four staff, but they defend. The only problem is the throne is taking damage right now. That's fine. That's fine. The drone will Regen, it's Sox okay. He's chasing still. He wants to go for this. There's the amp. Blink forward. He's got crush. Another two seconds. The uh -oh. Bash Lord. Another shield applied. Goblack could be going down. Here uh -oh. comes the impetus. Wow. Kill. Fucking Kill Matt is actually out of mana. That's how much mana he got burned from that fight. And how many impetus he uses. He actually ran Oom. All things consider oh, a huge teleport coming in. Sajoy going behind enemy oh, lines. The Sunstrike puts huge. the blink out cooldown. There's the Hex. They're going to be able to kill him. There's oh, no, no buyback this time. Dead for 110 seconds. But they're still oh, missing no. two. Can they actually end the game oh, right now? Oh my god, the no. hell damage on the babies. The, the thing is, they will need to send shit at the throne they, and they then send allow it the Wolfman. As well. Wolfman take tier 3. They're trying to go for it right now. This tier 3 taking a ton of damage. Just they, have glyph. they have Glyph, but they're choosing not to use Look it. A mid. Please, Glyph. No, I don't think they can afford a glyph right now. It's not taking that much damage. It's taking a little, but I think they might be able to deal with it. Okay, maybe not. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, they're going to be forced to pop glyph now. Miggle, unfortunately, does not have his ult for another 15 seconds. Mid. He doesn't have he doesn't have his kill oh. either. It's just rat Dota everywhere. <laughs> you can't stop the rat. You come in for the rat. Oh my god, just pick yeah, just kick the Rex. I, it's it. It's, it's uh, over. Fata. Force? Where's the Rex? No Rex has been used in this entirety of team fight. He wants to go to Sadoi. Sadoi is being ignored. See him on the back line here. Oh, no. Rex Riam here. GG. Oh my god. They defended so well and then Sock got picked off. Dirty bastards. I don't know if it would have mattered. I mean, yeah, they won the fight. Fata didn't die. It was all fine and well. But, like, it's so hard. Against that lineup. If Sock didn't die there, they would have had five more minutes. Yeah, but, yeah, but when the five minutes, minutes who knew what's what? going to happen? Would the five minutes have won in the game? There was one time when they got the mid tier two tower, and then they had to go home again because they were pushing That's up. That's fine. Left. I say you don't win the game in 49 minutes, you win it at 79 minutes. You just wanted to see a super long game. <laughs> no, didn't you? because when you kill them, it gets a 99 second res timer, right? Yeah, Respawn timer. Yeah. And if they buy back, whatever, kill them again, and that's when you win. <laughs> Just kill 10 heroes and then win the game. Exactly. That's the strategy. Okay, so I think we can all safely say that was one of the crazier games that we've seen. Not even just, you know, the Dream Definitely. League, but Dota anywhere. History, ever. Right, it was it was pretty insane. But nice defense put up by Sigma. I feel like if they didn't give away so much during the early game, maybe it could have went a bit better for them. But that's first game of the day, guys. We'll see if the other games can live up to, uh, to what we just saw here. But there's more Asus RG Dream League coming up next.